Hello everybody, welcome to today's stream lads. How's it going? KT, welcome brother. Um, the, the Fallout TV show, it's on Amazon Prime Video. And I don't know if it's helpful to you, KT, but um, I managed to watch. I don't know if it. I don't know if you can watch it on Amazon Prime Video with adverts for free, but I managed to log into my Amazon account and activate a 30-day free trial for Amazon Prime, and it let me watch the TV show uninterrupted without adver advertisements. And it, I would highly recommend it. I think uh, I really like the TV show. It was awesome. That's one of the reasons why we're playing Fallout New Vegas. I do want to play Fallout 4 again. However, I've heard at the end of the month, or or pretty soon, they're releasing a patch that updates the game. I don't know with what. I don't know if they're improving the graphics or whatever. But also, one of the reasons why I think Fallout, Fallout 4 is a good game, I enjoy it. But I don't know if I enjoy the voiced main character, because I like to like play these games as a character, if that makes sense. But I've been looking about for mods for Fallout 4. And there's a mod where you can remove the dialogue and everything from your character. So you can actually like say the dialogue options and get the character, which is which is quite cool. So lads, we are playing Fallout New Vegas. It's been I don't know how many years. I've only played this game once back on release. I remember loving it. I thought it was a great game. Uh, I do remember having good memories about Fallout 3, but I think we're going to save that for another time. Um, New Vegas is the one I want to play and that's what we're doing. Lads, let's make sure we're all up and running. That's looking good. You're looking good, lads. We're all looking good here. Let's do this. Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we are playing Fallout New Vegas and the reason we're playing New Vegas is because I've just watched the new Amazon Prime TV show, Fallout. It's really good, I, I enjoyed every episode, my last enjoyed it, lads, I think it's got like, everybody's enjoyed it across the board, they've done a really good job with it and I'm in that Fallout mood, let's go baby. I love old cutscenes like this. changes it doesn't when atomic fire consumed the earth those who survived did so in great underground vaults when they opened their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies establishing villages forming tribes as decades passed what had been the american southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam, 
and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. Caesar's Legion. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I like this guy. I like that guy. I'm cashing you out, Bob. Yeah, because New Vegas is a bit different from the other games because you don't start in a vault. Just, it's different. Oh, that's right, because we've got the ultimate edition. Jesus wept. <laughs> don't, we don't need notifications for this. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. I'm feeling all right. Damages. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Right, we do We do have a name. It's me, baby. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Right, here we go. So, let's make this quick as possible. Boom, boom, boom. What preset looks good? Bro, this guy looks like a, this guy looks like a legend. Randomize, yes. We're just gonna wait until we get a one that looks okay. I mean, to be fair, that looks all right, doesn't it? This guy looks like he wastelands. Age. Yeah, right. Can we do facial hair and stuff? Hairstyle. Wait, we'll start with the facial hair first. Survivalist is good. I think survivalist is going to be the best. In the wasteland, you've got to be unkempt. Although the handlebar mustache is big pimping. Now, we're definitely going for the survivalist that is the, right okay done hairstyle a smooth wave 
<laughs> the waste. I like the waste of the Sarge. Clean cut. What's the difference between clean cut and uh, smooth wave? Smooth wave is actually not bad. Blast back. The, uh, this guy looks like. I forgot his name. He plays the bad guy in Goldeneye. Bro, I think we're going with the blast back. We are. Hair colour. Can we change the. Hey, Jeremy, brother, how's it going? We're just creating our character in New Vegas. Um, done? No. Wait there. Back. Customize. Eye color. Want to make sure it's dark brown. Right, there we go. We're going. This is it. This is our guy. Yes. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I'm Good. feeling a bit woozy, old man. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. <laughs> Jeremy, my guy, does look like he doesn't take any crap. He is... He, this guy takes no bullshit. Right, now there is a... Um, we'll wait till we get a cart set. There's only one thing we're going to change in this playthrough that, that's different from default is we're going to increase the movement speed because the movement speed in this game is really slow. And um, we're going to increase it by about 40%. That's the sweet spot. And then everything else is going to be default. I'm even running with regular carry weight. Normally in my RPGs, I like to have maximum carry weight because I hate sifting through loot. But this game is not too bad because you can like craft items and other items to increase their... Well, <laughs> Two seconds, lads. There's a there's a door, doorbell. Two seconds. All right. Jesus, lads. Jehovah's Witnesses, bruh. <laughs> Bro. Are these are those people still a thing? Lads, I didn't I didn't think those people existed. They've like I thought they were like went out of date like years ago. Not on the door. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I was like, you're alright. It was like Jehovah's Witnesses. I was like, no thanks. <laughs> Come on now. Right, lads, we need to get back into it, lads. I've been pulled out of character. That's not good. I think the dog's all right. Right, here we go. Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> right, let's do our, our thing. Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. The vigor tester. You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Right, so what should we go with? Strength. I don't think my guy wants to have big strength. Let's go with four. Perception. Ex Explosives lock. Well, okay, we want lock pick. We could put it at eight. Endurance. Unarmored health, resistance, and survival. I think health is quite interesting. Ew, Envy, brother, how's it going? Lads, I'm so excited for this playthrough. It is going to be a blast. Now, I'll put Endurance to eight. We've got no more points left, though. Charisma. Charisma in this game is useless. 
funny enough, for an RPG, charisma doesn't, doesn't do anything. I'm putting that lowest. We've got four points to spare. Intelligence. I would like intelligence quite high. Because it gives us skill points. And agility. I think agility needs to be quite high as well. And luck. Okay. Tell you what. Oh! No, 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 no! I, I, I thought it was going to loop round by pressing right trigger. It didn't. So I'm going to take points off perception and endurance. And I think I'm going to have some points in luck as well. We'll try it. Okay. So strength, we only want four. Perception, let's go with six. Endurance, we'll go with six. Charisma, we don't want any points in. Intelligence. I'm tempted to go for eight. Eight intelligence. Agility. Six. Luck. Lucky seven. So we've got two points to spare. We could go with eight agility, actually. And that's going to help our guns sneak as well. Action action point regeneration is going to be essential. I think that's the, that's the deal. Right, lad, let's go for it. It's not going to make much difference in all fairness. 4661887. I like it. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. I don't know if I'm up for an interrogation, Doc. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Bullshit. Dog. Cat. House. <laughs> Burglarize. Night. Day. We can't have day. Dream. Bandit. Yeah. <laughs> Vaporize. Light. Dark. Mother. Father. What, what are these answers? Human shield. <laughs> Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, that ain't me, Doc. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Nah. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. At times. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Yep. <laughs> Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Looking like a vagina to me, Doc. <laughs> we do, I'm surprised if we don't have that answer. I would have said a chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? That looks like a flattened possum. Last one. Hmm. A yeah, bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Right, here we go. So, energy weapons I'm not interested in at all. Melee, not interested. Science, yes. We could go with sneak. Or lockpick. We've got one more skill we can tag. What should we go with? Um, guns, maybe. Oh, we've got science. I should, actually, I don't know whether I want to go with sneak because I think the start of the game is normally quite difficult at times. We're going to go with these. In the rest of it, combat-wise, we can do in first person. That's fine. Let's go. 
Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Choose it the two traits. Right, build to destroy. 3% chance to critically hit. You gain one special attribute when outside, but suffer when indoors. Okay. I want to try and take something that's going to benefit us, like, most in combat. Probably. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Four eyes? Nah. Good natured. You gain plus five bot. I don't care. Your melee and unarmed attacks do. Don't care. You gain 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer minus one to all attributes. That's not. Then again, minus one all attributes while your carrying drops below 160. That's not too bad. When your health drops below 50%, you gain 10% more damage. No. Kamikaze, you have 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have minus two damage threshold. That's not great. No one's going to put you to pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. You'll never again become addicted to chems and they'll last twice as long, but after 30, you can kiss experience, perks and skill points goodbye. That's an interesting one. Maybe if you go through the story, like, quickly, that wouldn't be too bad. Frag grenades. Skilled. Your skill but not experience. You gain plus 5 points to every skill, but you suffer minus 10% from experience gain from now on. That's not too bad. That, let's tag that. You have plus one agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. I think this is a good one. Wild Wasteland. Now, lads, when I, very, when I played this years ago, I chose Wild Wasteland. It's not actually worth it. There's very few instances. This should be like a, a gameplay option rather than a perk or a, a trait, I mean. I think I'm going to go with Trigger Discipline. Why not? Let's do it. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. You wouldn't happen to have any clothes around here, mate. Nice. Just stole this guy's wife's underwear. Off to a good start. <laughs> well, lads, that might not even be his wife's, that might be his. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. <laughs> and put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. He's a good guy, this guy. Thanks, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. It allows you to play in a hardcore. Oh, we don't want hardcore mode. No, thank you. Right, so Sunny Smiles and Victor. Let's do it. Ain't that a kick in the head complete? So yeah, we've got slightly reduced experience because of that perk we picked. And these are all the DLCs, I imagine. Old World Blues, yeah. Radio Broadcast, Honest Hearts, The Reunion, Lonesome Road. Bro, we've got hit with so many pop-ups. <laughs> it's wild. Are we, are we going to get any more pop-ups? Tell you what we should do. Let me save. There we go. Yeah, I, I think all the DLC pop-ups should just like happen. Oh, there's more. It should just happen before you start the game. Like I don't need to know this. 
Right, let me save it. You remember this game didn't pull any punches at the start, Jeremy? I, I, oh my god, look. Just when you've got the landscape. Right, there's one thing we need to do before we set off. We need to controls. We need to change it back to mouse and keyboard because we need to increase the run speed. I don't like how slow you move in this. Um, it makes like exploration excruciating. So we're going to increase it just a little bit. Oh my god, there's more. Dead money. Right. Um. One forty. So that should be a forty percent increase. Ah, I've typed it wrong. Right, that should be it. So let me get my controller back on the go. Controls on. Beautiful. And then we should be ready to head out. That's so much better. This is a nice movement speed. Like lads in this game, you, you move at like an excruciatingly slow pace. Let's save this and then it should remember it. Because it's tight at the save game. Fantastic. Right then. Let's see what we've got. We've got to go to the saloon. Speak to. Was she called Sunny Smiles? The general store. What do we have in our inventory first off? Oh, we've got a pistol. Seven damage. That does 15 damage. We've got 38 bullets. We'll equip that. We've got some throwing spears. We don't need that. Road machete. I think this is all from the DLC. I'm probably going to sell it. Right, we know how clothes work. Resistance 8. Metal armor's medium armor. I don't want to wear medium armor. Sexy sleepwear. All 21 jumpsuits. Tell you what we'll do. What does this look like? That looks okay. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of the rest of the stuff that we don't need. Um. Right. Happy days. Let's go. We'll go to the general store first. We'll see if anybody knows anything. We'll ask around town. Howdy, partner. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Are you buying too, sir? Can do. Yeah. Right, let's get rid of... We don't want this. Broad machete. Don't want it. Don't want the metal armor. Don't want the mercenary's grenade rifle. Don't want that. We don't want the shotgun. I just want like the, the starter equipment. I don't want any of the, the DLC stuff. Don't need that. Don't need that. We'll keep... Now, does he... We don't want to buy anything off him, I don't think. But does he have anything good? I think we're all right. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Take it. Excellent. Mighty fine day to you. Okay, so this is the saloon. Sunny Smiles. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? You haven't seen a man with a mighty fine suit walk by here. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Tell me about Victor. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. Hmm. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. 
Be seeing ya. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Schoolhouse. Lad, I don't know if it's just a PC version, because I played this on PS3, I think it was. Bro, the game actually looks well. It look it looks okay. The game actually looks alright. I remember playing this on, on PS3 and it was just everything was just a brown smudge. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. Sonny smiles. The doc told me about y'all. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Lads, I love playing pool. This is this. I've never played pool in a long time. The only time I normally play pool is when we go on holiday. We're going to be getting a lot of bad karma this playthrough. We're actually hidden. Maybe not. Right, let's go and see her out back. Odd. Oh, look at this bad boy! Big Horner. That's what they used to call me back in the day. <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, here. Yeah. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Okay, the, the aim and sensitivity is a bit, bit, bit fresh. Try crashing down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Yeah, I could do with blowing the cobwebs off. Lead the way, Missy. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay, she give us a gun. Is this actually any good? Let me have a look. Varmint rifle. It's not very good. It does 8 damage. The pistol does... So, oh, it's not too bad. The weather 10 minute with it. Do we have a equip menu? We actually do. Hot key. Right, let's make the pistol go there. Varmint rifle go there. What about healing? Because we're probably going to need it. Aid. Stim packs we'll put down on the D-pad. Fantastic. Oh, now we're in business. Y'all can hear guns. Lads, we can hear gunshots in the background. Lads as well. You need to watch the new Fallout TV series. It's what what sparked this this playthrough. It's really good. I'm looking forward to season two. The better make it, the better not blue ball us and, and cancel it. Look, there's a tower over there. How long you had the dog? Where's the dog gone? The dog's lost. She's lost the dog. Oh. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Get the jump on them, we'll go stealth. Lads, we, we are going to go a bit stealth in this place, I think. Okay, I think you're on. We can get some okay. nice crits. Yeah, Jeremy, I've always found the Bethesda worlds to be pretty exciting. Like, you, there's always things to go, go to, people to see, actual conversations. It's really good, which, yeah, it does make Horizon feel a bit, bit by the numbers shallow. Although I think Horizon's probably got a better combat system than this. They say the, the first person shooting is mighty junk. 
Oh, caution. Hey, 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 now. Oh, look at this thing! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, mid-air shot, get wrecked! Yo. Oh! Damn! I guess I... I guess I'm just a natural at this. Bro, she loved that. See? You're getting the hang of it. Feels There's good to be back in the field. Play. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll help out. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Yeah, the sensitive... The problem is, I did play with the sensitivity settings before we started. Um... The sensitivity controls both the, the regular look, which feels quite slow, but when you zoom in, it feels fast. It, there's no separate sensitivity setting. No doubt there's prob No doubt there's probably a mod for it, but we're going just raw dog vanilla. Bro, lads, have you seen these shots? I'm an absolute beast at this game. Another thing I've, you've probably noticed is I've, um, the default field of view on this game is like really narrow. It looks like you're like looking through bloody binoculars or something. Um, I've increased the field of view to I think 95. Oh shit, somebody needs our, needs our help. Come on. <laughs> oh shit, you ain't gonna make it. What a shot. Yeah, so when, when I've noticed when we're re reloading, you can see the edge of our arms sometimes, but that's fine. I'd rather have a better field of view. Yeah, I quite like this gun. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best yep. to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to nice. show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Go on then. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. What brought Lesnar on some Xander root? All right. Where's the dead? Bro, she did not make it. Yeah. Some people got to learn the hard way. You know, we, we didn't find a... Uh, Victor. See you at the party, Victor. We'll check this out. Let me check the quest log first. So, oh. quests. Find Brock Flower and Xanarut. It's not really my style. I would like to find the main quest. This one. Inquire about the delivery assignment with the administrator of Mojave Express in Prim. Talk to Victor in Good Springs. I think we should do this. Victor in Good Springs. Right, come on then. We'll check out this. Uh, this campsite first. Nothing. Also, she's just chilling there now, is she? Oh, look what we've got. Bro, the way these things run is hilarious. Before you venture deep in the wasteland, you may revise your character. Uh, I think I'll... I think I'm happy with the way our guy looks, to be honest. One thing I... Yeah. Everything's fine. 
Yes. Oh, I've got to do this again. What was it? Four, six, six, zero, eight, eight. I think that was about right. Lockpick, signs. It's always remembered that. That's fine. Lockpick, signs, sneak, yes. Oh, what did we pick? We picked skilled and accuracy. Of 20% more accurate. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. 20% more accurate. I think that accuracy definitely helps. We haven't used VATs yet, but th this will help in VATs. Name's fine. Finished. There we go. We missed. And again. So this, this. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, shit. Headshot. Yo, we took a bit of damage there. That's fine. Yeah, so at times, I think the accuracy of these guns is also affected by the stat because our bullets were like aim like going high and sometimes going to the left when we were shooting so at range we can we can be in trouble for now while we're, while we're base level right tell you what we're going back to good springs can we fast travel there out of curiosity good springs what is this here it wants us to go there right we'll do a few things around good springs we'll get to know the the local folks. We gotta find Victor. Looking for a robot. Hey, sir. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Yep. He's a good man. I'm not seeing a robot. We'll check the petrol station. I love how just quiet and eerie the world is. It's it's perfect. Requires a key. Actually reminds me of Red Dead Redemption a bit. I tell you what, let me check the quest marker. Is this guy actually marked on the map? How do we zoom? Ah, look, he might be here. This might be him there. Straight ahead of us. We'll go this way. Oh, is this the old school? Look, we've got someone coming up. There he is. There's Victor. Real shame about Starfield. If it came around this time of... Sorry. If it came out around the time of Fallout 3 in New Vegas, it would have been a great game. True. I think... Um, I think the simple fact of the matter is, with games like Starfield, anything with scope of it's quite big and you're going to different planets it's never going to feel as immersive as a game that's set in a single landmass. Because with a single landmass, you can plan routes to different places. You've got an interesting journey on the way. With Starfield, because it was all fast travel, you could never build up like a, a mental map of interesting things that have happened in the way you've planned your journey. I think it's just like the nature of the beast. It's going to be really hard to make a space game that feels as interesting as a game that's set on a landmass. It, it really is, in my opinion. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? You might. Thanks for helping me, partner. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need.
were those men. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help mm. you out with that. I never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. How did you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I'll be taking my leave. Happy trails! We got a map marker there. I'm not sure what for, though. Find the men who tried to kill you. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. Interesting. Let me quickly check this out. This might be part of that, that quest we got, which was called by the campfire. Oh, there's enemies here. It's a giant mantis nymph. Bang, bang. Yeah, we do have to go in here for this quest. All right, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll help them out. We should have went in the stealth. Shh. Bro, we, we're not hitting a damn thing. Oh, we don't have enough AP, do we? Bro. <laughs> it's actually lads, it's actually easier without aiming down Hey We got him. It's actually easier without aiming down sights at times. Yeah, we've got a we've got a light. I forgot about this, the Pip Boy light. Right, let's see if there's anything useful here. Safe. I'm in there. Pre-war money stealth boy in a super stim pack. That's some good loot right there. Bobby pins. Error. Don't know if we need wonder glue or anything. I can't remember if there's a craft system, crafting system in this one. I know that was probably my least favorite thing that they implemented in Fallout 4. Is they made like a lot of crafting systems and... And city building or like town building I'm not a fan of that in my, my RPGs I just like the RPG I just like to talk to people and shoot things more bobby pins ok we're getting a lot of body bobby pins here that's good hey Eduardo brother how's it going from Brazil welcome now what are we what are we looking for here a brock flower and a zander root Doesn't seem to be much in here. Oh, we found this is it. Oh, this is a Xander root. Okay, we've got a couple. We didn't even need to go in there. Right, that's fine. Now where's the other one? World map. Good Springs Cemetery. Let's go. So the thing about the rifle is we we walk quite slowly with the rifle out and the condition's terrible. This pistol's got quite good condition but we've only got 38 bullets for it. Oh, and we walk fast with the pistols. Lads, we might go pistols in this. I don't know. Every single Fallout game I normally go rifles. 
We might we might mix it up a bit. We could buy some new things from the store. If we we get we got fifty bottle caps off that lady for helping her. So yeah, we're doing good. Well, I didn't think we'd be going back to the cemetery anytime soon, but here we are. Oh shit. Hey, 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 hey! Problem, 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 problem. I think we ran out of bullets. <laughs> oh, headshot! Fox scorpion. I actually thought that was a rad scorpion. I did a little poo in my pants. I think this thing uses quite a lot of AP, so we've got to be careful when we use this in VATS. Oh, damn. Headshot! Well, this thing's actually not too bad. Nah, that's too far away. Too far away for my skills. Beautiful. Oh, look. There was a thing on that grave. Hey, 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 hey. What spin shit? We'll go for a sixty-five percent chance to hit. We got him. Look what we found. No globe. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These are rare pre-war artifact war artifacts. Widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumour has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Right, so we could get a lot of money from that. Now what are we looking for here? Another plant. So this is where we were, were, this is where it happened. Was it? This wasn't where we were buried, was it? Aha. Rock flower. Distinctive cigarette butts. That, this has got to be where they did it. They're trying to kill my ass. Right, we'll go back and see yeah, uh, Sunny Smiles. That's, I think, what this game does, like what, what the Fallout games do. But I would say, but another thing is, Bethesda games in general, aside from Starfield, although Starfield had instances where it did feel epic. Was a um, the the ex sense of exploration, meeting new people, doing things. Even even some of the most trivial things you do in this game aren't that bad because the the world is so condensed. Like this, it's unrealistically concentrated for a post-apocalyptic world, which is good. Like they did themselves a service doing that. He's, the thing is that when we go and see her, we can continue on that road and go to the next place and we can ask about the man in the suit. We were actually crouched there. <laughs> That's, we were actually crouched. Does it tell you on the screen where you're crouched? It doesn't. It doesn't. You can only tell if you're crouched by the hidden icon or detected icon above on top of the screen. Fine. There's her dog. Cheyenne. 
which means Sunny, Sunny smile should be around here. Where is she? I brought them flowers, baby. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Uh -huh. Perception minus one, but HP plus one for 18 seconds. Well, that'll only restore 18 HP. Right. Oh, you press X on it. Craft one. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well... I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. The Prospector. All right. Go we'll meet Trudy at the Prospector Saloon. Where's that? Oh, she wants me to go back to Good Springs. All right then, why not? And then once we do this, we'll head out in the big bad world. Trudy. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Everything all right here? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hmm. What's all this about your argument? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Hmm. Where's Ringo? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Hmm. How about we just kill this Cobb? You mean murder him? That's yep. not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, how you gonna handle it? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Hmm. Tell me about this gang. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. All right. All right. Do I get anything for helping this dear Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Damn. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. I wouldn't worry about that, man. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Oh, that was if I helped them. I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> and who was that man? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. 
Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. How did I found, find the Outer Worlds? That was the same developer. The Outer Worlds, I thought, was okay. It was okay. And actually, Jeremy, it was free on um, Epic Games a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? The Ultimate Edition. I think I think it's probably worth the playthrough. I didn't think it was great, but it was it was quite good. You know anything about the man who attacked me? Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. You know where they went? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. North. Now why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Hmm. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. What do you got for sale? I'm sure. Right, let's see if we can sell some stuff. Maybe buy... We don't need... We don't need scorpion poison glands. We don't need bleak venom. I imagine we don't need this stuff. Cleaver. Duct tape will keep in case we need to craft anything. Field hand outfit. Oh, that was off the woman that died, wasn't it? Gecko eggs. We don't need any of this. Healing powder will keep. Free war money. I think we can sell that. Scrap metal will keep. Stealth boy. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Oh, this is a good healing item. HP plus two for 25 seconds. We'll keep that. Throw on spears. Don't need them. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to sell that. That's fine. Xander root. I don't care. We'll sell them. Thanks. Right, I think we're done here. Where's this Ringo? Offer to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers. Alright, let's go and find this guy. Okay, it's getting interesting. Hey. Howdy. What do you know about this dro Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. Mm-hmm. Welcome. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Right, where's this Ringo? Oh look, the sun's setting. This is this is fantastic. Oh, it's this guy. No, oh, that's the regular settler. Ah, he's hiding out in the petrol station. That's why we couldn't get in earlier on. Makes sense. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Oh, Jeremy, did I? I didn't even realise that I'm selling more than the shops can afford. Some of it's being sold for free. I'm just a generous man. <laughs> I'll have to keep an eye out for that in the future. Um, I'm not your enemy, son. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Tell me about this Joe Cobb. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Mm -hmm. Why do they want you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Hmm. Doesn't sound right to me. What are you planning on doing, son? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hmm. 
Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Hmm. I mean, I would like to do it solo. I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Sunny will help us, I bet. Hey, does this guy have any? Oh, look what we've got. Law safe. I would like maybe a new weapon. I know we're still in the start of the game. <laughs> Love where I want all the guns. We'll take them. We don't need a fork. We'll take the shotgun. Oh, single shotgun. Damn. We'll take that. And we leveled up. Beautiful. Right, what do we want points in? I'm thinking maybe... Repair's good for our weapons. We'll boost that up to a, to a 5. Science, we might boost that up to 50. Oh, what about lockpick? How many points? We could boost lockpick to 50. I forgot what the thresholds are in this game. I'm sure they're approximately either, either every... 10 or 25, I can't remember. We'll boost lockpick to 50. Science will do 50. And we've got one more skill point. We might as well just put it in a sneak. Yeah, we'll do this first. And, um... Yeah. Next level up, we'll put sneak to 50. And then we'll maybe we'll raise... Guns. Right, confirm bash. The income at you 10% damage against male opponents. Don't care. Friend of the night. Your eyes adapt quickly to low light conditions. Nah. Extra level up. Nah. Lady killer. Maybe. Rapid reload. All of your weapons reload 25% faster. That's good. With the retention perk, the bonuses granted by skill magazines last three times as long. Nah. With each rank in the swift learner perk, you gain XP. Don't care about experience. R lads, we're going for rapid reload. Boom. Okay, lads, we're in business now. I feel... The only thing I like about the Fallout games is the... The perks seem like they're useful. Like, it's not just, oh, like, plus percentage bonus and stuff. I don't find that very intriguing. I like perks and traits and stuff. Things that have got a negative are also quite interesting to me. Okay. Let's go and see, yeah. Uh, Miss Smiles. Yeah, the condition of this gun's not very good. Probably doing less than half damage. But we'll use it while we've got bullets for it. Didn't she say she was coming back to town? Oh, is that her there? It is. Look, she's walking back. I got a favor, baby. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm gonna help that there Ringo take on the powder gangers. You wanna help? Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. Mm. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Nice. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Excellent. How are we going to convince Trudy? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Hmm. That's not my forte. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. All right. What about the dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Hmm.
Wonder if there is work around here. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. We've already done it. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. All right. I'll be waiting. I'll see you soon. Come on then, lads. We might not be able to do this because our, our speech for the moment is the worst. You had a good time with Fallout 4. I don't know why it got medium reviews. I really enjoyed Fallout 4. I think I think we've already said so. The, my biggest negative with Fallout 4 is they changed the speech system to a more Mass Effect system where you had the four dialogue choices. It was quite restrictive and it didn't you didn't always get what you wanted to say. I think another reason why Fallout 4 is not as... Fallout 4 is a great game. It's a great game. But it's a little less immersive for me because the main character talks. Like, I, I like having the dialogue... And then saying it, like if I'm playing this by myself, I love like saying it in my own head and as if I'm talking to another person. Whereas you were playing as somebody else in Fallout 4 and you were stuck with the same voice act, they're the same lines. And occasionally the lines didn't come off with how you wanted to say them, which can sometimes take you out the experience. But the game, the game was fantastic. Hey, Hills brother, how's it going? Tell you what, we're going to start with Trudy. I don't think we're going to be able to convince her, but we'll, we'll try. Trudy, 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 Trudy. She's out. She's not here. Or was that her outside? <sighs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. How do we do this? It's been a long time since we've done some Fallout hacking. Right. Four attempts left. Bandits. Two out of seven correct. So it's probably going to be the second A. Packing. So it could be the A and the I. It's not. Errants. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I remember not being very good at these terminal things. Right. There is a secret though. You can you can look for little cords. Is it these? If you look for the brackets, there's certain brackets you can I'm not seeing it. It, it it'll take a while before it comes back to me. There might not even be any in this. We'll try carried. Two out of seven. Cripple. Can't be cripple then. Ordered. You've lost calm. Oh, we're going to have the worst calm in this game because I'm a, I'm a kleptomaniac. It's any symbols that are longer than one character. Any symbols that are longer than one character. Let's try writing. <sighs> We're so bad at this. Credits. Two out of seven. Last try. Last try and I give up. I'm shit at this minigame. <laughs> I don't even... Lads. How I think it is. Is you get a word. However many characters long. If you get two out of that, it means two letters in that word are in the correct place, I think. Right, let's just start with hunting. Hunting six out of seven is correct. Hunting. Hurting. Got to be hurting, hasn't it? <sighs> nice. Bro, damn, 27 experience. Right, what's she got? Disengaged lock. Ooh. Lock for what? It's a hard safe. Okay, we're going. We're going in. Damn. Of Magnum. Oh my god. We'll take this. Don't need the tie iron, although we could sell it back to her. Whiskey. 
Oh, we're getting mortal tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Man, I'm just, I'm just looking around. Nothing to see here. There she is. Actually, we've never saved it in ages. Let me save. Right, yeah. Th those um, things will take us a while to, to get through. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Jeremy, I'm going to be a rootin' tootin' shootin' cowboy. So we need 25 speech to get her on the... Although... We're good at sneak. Neither saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush. If I had to help, ma'am. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Yep. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Oh, we can help her with the broken radio. About that radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. See you soon. All right, we'll do that radio later if she survives. If she doesn't survive, we don't need to fix that radio. We'll go to the, we'll go to the store. That just feels like we're building up to like a, a shootout. And I love it. You looking to buy some supplies? I need him for the town. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Bruh. A thousand caps. So you just gonna stand here and let your friends die. That don't sound like a man of me. Right. Just keep... Hmm. But this guy's a coward. Do we even have a thousand caps? Actually, question. Do we have... Is it aid? Barter plus ten. We have barter plus ten. What's our barter? You looking to buy some supplies? This again? We can do it. We can do it. Okay, lads, these right. skill book these skill books are good. Is there anything else? A thousand. Hang on. Let me shoot some bugs until I get better at bartering. Be right back. <laughs> I'ma be in the fields for the next six months, and when I come back, I'ma sweet talk yo, yo little ass. <laughs> right, we're there. We, we've got a book, lads. We've got a book. Salesman Weekly. Let's use it. You looking to buy some supplies? Listen, let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. Yeah. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. The man's a fool. This man is a foolish man. Take it easy. Right, we did that. Who else to speak to? Right, what's the quest? Acquire additional medicinal, medicinal supplies from Doc Mitchell. An Easy Pete's Dynamite. Well, we'll we can speak to Easy Pete in a minute, but let's go to the Doc's house. The, the Doc will give us it, because the Doc's a good man. Hey Doc, I'm back. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Well, there's a war on the horizon. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Good lad. We can do this. They'll be using explosives. You got something for 
Lost legs, limbs, eyes, and ears. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. All right. Guy's a legend. You I like Doc. Return to Ringo. We don't want to do that yet. Easy Pete. Well, Easy Pete's at the... The Prospector isn't the outside. Sitting on a poach. Howdy. I need your dynamite. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Well... I'm familiar with the can handling of explosives, man. Dino might included. Uh huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. <laughs> oh, yep. lads, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. It's nightfall as well. Right. How do we start this? I imagine speak to Ringo. Now, before we do that, we need. We got a new gun, didn't we? We actually got a shotgun and a, and a... Magnum revolver. 13 damage. We've only... We've, we've got but six bullets in it. We'll not be using that. Single shotgun. We've got 62... Oh, damn. Okay. Shotgun could be nice. How much damage does this do? 17. Right. I want that in... Possibly, what even is up? We can't put it in up. I'll put it in there. Let me try it out. Oh, there we go. Bang, bang. Okay, lads, our arsenal's good. This this isn't going to do much damage, this weapon we're using, so we'll probably use the shotgun. Although we might need to be quite close to them to use it. Let's do it. Tell you what we'll do, lads. Before we go in here and speak to Ringo... Let's make a hard save and we'll call it an episode. First thing next episode. The Powder Gangers are going to have hell to pay. Lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one. Lads on stream, we're going to take a five minute break and we'll be back to raise hell. Lads, the game. Bro, this game is awesome. I can't wait. Lads, we're only in the first, first town. First town. And shit's already hitting the fan. I absolutely love it. See you in five minutes, lads. Actually, before we do that, let me do a quick little, little bit of little bit of admin. All out New Vegas, that can go in there. Rename. And I think we're done. Right, jobs are good. Scene five, lads.
Right, lads, we are back. Oh. Lads, I feel like a real cowboy. Lads, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the cowboy spirit today. Don't know what it is. Right. Thing, I think this, this is going to be, this is going to be awesome. Oh, right. Am I comfortable? Because we need to, lads, we need to be full comfort for this battle. This inevitable battle. Is Easy Pete going to be launching dynamite everywhere? I hope he is. Sounds like my type of guy. My man. Right. Everything is looking good. Let me put the timer on and we're going to get started. It is time to protect Good Springs. We're going to give them hell. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She did. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many of them are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Ah. Looks can be deceiving, baby. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Dynamite. Right, can we see that? Oh, he's friendly. Oh, look, they've all got the leather armor on. Excellent. We are kidding. They don't stand a chance. Howdy. Dynamite! <laughs> Light it up! Dynamite! Bro, sticky Pete coming with a with a clutch with that dynamite. Headshot! Did we did we miss? Oh she died. This shotgun's not very good. Joe Cobb. Oh, right in the balls. We've been vilified. You have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. All right. For your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you've become vilified by the community, by the powder gangers. <laughs> Damn right. But Good Springs like us. Oh, that's a mighty fine gun. Oh, he's got a Magnum revolver. Beautiful. Paragon guard armor. It's not bad. Yeah, shotguns, lads. I don't think the shotgun was very good. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Hmm. Seems a little light. For all that work I did. It's all I've got with me. But if you look me up at the Crimson Caravan's main camp in New Vegas, I'll pay you in full. Bro, Ringo nearly died. Look at his health. Right now, lads. Let's clean up. What have we got? Dynamite will take them. Actually, I'll take everything. Oh, he got a vomit rifle. We can repair ours. Yeah, let's take everything. We'll probably be overweight soon, but that's fine. This guy's got a nice hat. Desperado cowboy hat. I'm all about the desperado life. Give me that. Yeah, the single shotgun's terrible. Let, lads, let's check this bad boy out. 
Oz does 8 damage resist. That's fine. Let's. How the gang's plain simple. What's the difference between plain and simple? Nothing. Leather armor. Weapons. Right, single shotgun. Let's boost that. Vomit rifle. We boost that. I'm probably going to sell the single shotgun to not very... Well, I'll keep the shotgun, maybe. But the revolver, that's looking good now. We've got a few more bullets for it, but not loads. Decent. Look at this guy's leg. <laughs> this guy's leg just sitting there. Can we do this in this game? Oh, we can't. In, in um, Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls, you could hold down the grab button and, like, pick people up. Oh, it was his leg. Damn. People's legs lying everywhere. <laughs> right. What do we need to do? Why don't we go and see the... Where's everybody else gone? Hey there. Oh, well, she's there. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I think our work's done here. Do we have a bed? I don't know where the the settlement leaders went. Good spring settler. We'll sell some stuff for this. Well. Oh, they're all asleep. Chet. That was a hell of a fight. They'll be fine. Okay. So what we want to get rid of, can we switch to weapons? I want to get rid of the single shotgun. It's worth 170, ah, oh, this guy doesn't have many caps. We'll sell the cleaver. We'll sell the outer gang guard armor. And then simple outfit. And that took all of his money off him, it's fine. Do we want to buy anything? How much are? Magnum round. 18. Let's buy all of them. What other guns do we have? 9 mil? 9 millimeter pistol round 78. 78 caps for all of those bullets. I think that's probably worthwhile. Do we even have a 9 mil with that? I don't even know if we have a 9 millimeter weapon. Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. Is it a 9mm or a 10mm? It's a 10mm. Oh, but we do have a 9mm pistol, although it's absolutely dog shit. Fine. How many bullets do we have? We only have a few bullets for that. We have quite a few for that. And quite a few for that now. And quite a few shotgun shells. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Let's go. However... Armor case. Don't mind if I do. Okay then. Let's start tracking down this guy. This cockroach man. They went that away. Inquire about the delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express and Prim. We'll have a nice stroll about at night. I like how the nighttime in this game isn't oppressive. You can just enjoy it. We'll have a nice nighttime stroll, see what we see. Now, do we want to fight things with a shotgun? I think we should. To be fair, I think fighting creatures with a shotgun will be easier than fighting humans. Because humans tend to like strafe and stuff, whereas I think creatures just run directly at you in this. Come on then, where are we headed? These boots were made for walking. That's just what they do. Look at this cowboy hat, lads. Lads, look at this. I'm falloutin' so hard. I'm the law around here. Yeah, I would imagine we're pretty close to another level up. 
Yeah, there's a big town over there. Gene, Prim. Well, we're heading to Prim and Las Vegas is that way. Bro, I can't wait till we get to Vegas. Something's over there. You've discovered several locations you can fast travel. Okay, that's fine. Gene Skydiving. See if we can find some supplies. Bottle caps. Oh, there's a key. Key for what? Awesome. Ramen skin outfit will take that. And a knife. Laser pistol. How much damage? Seven damage. It's not great. It's not great. I, I like I like guns that go bang. So we'll probably not be going lasers. Not much in here. Right. Let's boost this up. I want to make sure my Magnum Revolver. Tell you what, pistols. Let's make the... I want the pistol up there. Magnum Revolver there. I want the regular pistol left. I want the Vomit Rifle right. We'll have the shotgun upper right. Where's the shotgun? Single shotgun upper right. There we go. This vomit rifle is actually a little bit better condition, so we'll start using this for range. Perfect. Oh, shit! Hey! That's the last thing you want to be doing, sir. Damn. It don't have to go down like this. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, headshot! Hey, 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 hey! Get wrecked! Can't say I didn't warn you. Dynamite! I got a single shotgun, nice. Right, what I think we'll do is, we'll probably just loot... Oh, look, a plane. We'll probably just loot people until we get over encumbered and then we'll just like craft all of our stuff down. Lord flies. Hey lads, is it is it crazy that I actually like this this varmint rifle? Headshot. Baby baby. But we've got possibly some people here. Shh. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! Dropping like a sack of shit. Headshot. Hey, this, rifle, this rifle's actually good. Actually good. Bro, look at this camera. That camera wanted us to see that that guy was dead. How the gang at Camp West. Interesting. Oh, wait. Shh. My God. This place is mined. Well.
Cattleman cowboy height. This one's got perception plus one. We're getting bad karma for robbing these guys. We're not technically robbing these guys because the guys are dead. So I mean, it, it, it's it's anybody's anybody's loot. Question: Can we rest? Rest and heals your HP. That's cool. Let me check this cowboy hat. So this does percept. Oh, this cowboy hat does perception plus one. Fixing things. Do them. Nine millimeter pistol. Oh, be nice. We've got a good nine millimeter pistol now. I think we've got that. Well, we should put that down there. Come on then. <sighs> Nearly got my tits blown off again. Oh, I like the nine mil. I like the nine mil. That looks cool. 10 mil. Magnum. Dirty Magnum. We've got 33 bullets for it, lads. We're cowboying it. If you're playing a Bethesda game with good karma, you're doing it wrong. Loot and shoot. I'm all about the looting and shooting. I don't actually understand. Well, it hasn't become apparent to me yet what the... Oh, radiation sickness. No thanks. What the... The karma system in this does for you. Like, do, do people... Is it just a, a stat that you get? A bit like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic where it doesn't really mean anything? Or does it have some sort of influence? Lads, we need to shoot something with this Magnum. I want to see it. Would it get absolutely wrecked? I think if we're, if we're going to be using pistols, we should probably use it in vats. That was unnecessarily overpowered for that type of enemy. <laughs> Lads, I like the Magnums. What is this? Look at this thing! Come on, partner. It's a Mexican standoff. Yeah, Magnums are really good. Magnums are good. They feel good and they look like they've got really good accuracy. Let's try the 9mm. I do like rifles because their rate of fire is quite slow. It's not really good in like a, a short and medium combat range. And I think a lot of combat in this game takes place into that, in that, what the f... Lads, I thought that was a massive creature to flag. I was like, what the hell is that? Yeah, I think... I'm looking forward to the next Fallout game. I don't know when we're going to get it. I don't... Well, actually, it was supposed to be... Hey, 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 hey. Where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Why? What's going on? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Nah, I came from Good Springs. Why ain't you protecting the town? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Hey, Hunter brother, how's it going? No, it's not the mysterious revolver. It's just like a random revolver we found in, in the world. Oh, never mind. That's fine. That's fine, mate. So, why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even hmm. if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Lieutenant Hayes. Alright, we'll go and see Lieutenant Hayes. Look at the skybox, the moon. <sighs> Level up. Just what the doctor ordered. Right now, we had a plan, didn't we? We can go... Let's sneak at 50. Science looks okay. Repair, possibly. I think we should boost guns. Guns at 40. We've got four skill points left. We can either start on science for controls or lock picking. However, I think it's going to be wasted in the immediate gameplay. 
We could boost speech up. Tell you what, let's get speech to 20. And two points. Uh, we'll... Uh... I want to start boosting the speech just a little bit. Just to maybe help us. Even if we get speech to 25, maybe, which will get that next level up. That looks good. Science, sneak, and lockpick 50. Good. And we didn't get to choose a perk. Okay. Five mil rounds. More magnum rounds, baby, baby. Right, so we've got to go and see the lieutenant. I forgot the guy's name. Was it Lieutenant Hunt? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Bro, <laughs> are you wearing makeup, my brother? Well, if they're not going to use the ammo to save the town, then I guess I'll use it instead. Bro, this is my favourite bit of the game. I just like stealing things. Tell you what, let's make it daytime. What is it? It's Sunday 10, 4.16am. Let's wait four hours. Master thief in and out like the wind. Jeremy, I'm like a thief in the night. I was actually a thief in the night. Yeah, we like the daytime. Come on then. You in charge? I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Nah, Lieutenant Hayes. It's fine. Where? Well. Don't mind if I do. Damage resistance nine. Damn, that's better than what we got, I think. You've equipped faction armor. Faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction. Ah, I don't really want to be disguised as the faction. We'll have a look at it. I mean, it does look good. This armor looks awesome. Does it? Does it really matter? Factions. I don't actually know what the opposite faction of the NCR is. Maybe bandits. We're going to be killing them anyway. We'll wear this. What's the condition of it? It's quite low condition. It's got damage resistance of nine. What we using? Lightweight leather armor. It's quite full at eight. We could possibly use this until the condition gets wiped out, then we'll just bin it. I'm part of your group. <laughs> Lads, we've just we've just initiated ourselves into the NCR. What's up, my brothers? Hello. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Hmm. Tell me what the problem is. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some hmm. guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Ah, Hunter. I'll be shot by the Legion on sight and they don't play. Excellent information, Hunter. Cheers for that. I wasn't sure what it did. We'll probably put it in the bin. I want to. I want to remain. How? How the way I want to play? I want to remain neutral, and I just want to take each faction as they come. If I get on with them, I get on with them. If I don't, then they will die. But I don't want them to shoot me just out of nothing because I think it might cut off certain missions. So we'll take this armor off, even though it looks cool. Tell me about the facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. 
killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. Mm. All right. Any more information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Excellent. I have that guy didn't really help us out at all. We won't go quiet. Was this actually a quest? It wasn't. We can just tackle this on our own. Quietly. The Legion all right. can count on that. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, we need to take this armor off. Right, lads, I guess we've just gone in. Who needs re I, I am. The reinforcements. Well, one thing as well, lads, I don't know if you've noticed this, if you play this game on PC as well. But normally when you play a PC game, you can play it with controller and keyboard. With this, you can only have one active at the time. So since we're playing controller, none of the buttons on the keyboard work, so I can't have access to the quick save, which is a bit disappointing. How many of them are in there? You don't know. Hello there. It's good oh. to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Oh. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Hmm. But why? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. I've got no idea what you're talking about, friend. Especially about these caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All right. Where can I get some more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. We're looking for Sunset Sasparella. And who's this Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Hmm. And I guess you collect them too. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. What kind of treasure? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. I'll be going, sir. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars. Already. Oh shit, lads! This 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 little quest line already sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's, we're going to get killed over some bottle caps. I can't wait. Hey! Brother, the bridge. He didn't say anything. Oh, Hunter, Hunter, you just, you just warned me of the mines on the bridge. Cheers for that, brother. I've just seen your message. This guy, this guy would have happily let me walk through there and come out the other side with zero legs. All right, all right, all right. This game is awesome. So many good memories playing the game back when. Exactly. This is, this is just fantastic. Right. 
we can disarm these, can't we? We can. Five experience a shot. Not bad. Yeah, boy. Right, tell you what. Let's go in. Let's go in slowly. See what we can see. Zero isn't a good number of legs. <laughs> Zero is not a good number of legs. Definitely not. We want to try and keep our, our number of legs ideally above one. I'm not seeing anybody. It's it's awfully quiet around here. We've got enemies. Well, well, well. Oh, dirty magnum to the face. Oh, shit. Come on, get it, partner. Oh, this guy took two magnum blasts to the face and he lost a head. Bro, I even love the reloading animation for the magnum. Ah, lads, we might go magnums. We might go cowboying. Merc Charmer outfit. Lovely jubbly. Bro, they've even got a roller coaster. What is this? Bison Steve. Do you know what this reminds me of, even though it probably isn't? Do you know when you get like a, a proper American steakhouse? Where they've got like two weak smoked steaks and stuff. There's a place in in, in England that I went to in Sheffield. I f it's called I'm sure it's called Big Smoke. It's a big Americanized meat brisket aged smoked meat place. It was delicious, lads. My mouth is just like I'm. What's the word? I'm salivating at the thought of it. I'm thinking of playing more God of War 2000. Oh, God of War 2018 Hills. Fantastic. I can't wait till the new God of War becomes available for PC because I'm dying to play it. There's a sniper guy on the roller. Oh, there's a sniper on the roller coaster. Oh, damn. Well spotted. Jesus. Guy's got. Hunter. You are actually a hunter. You've got eyes like a hawk. Can we get a stealth attack on him? But tell you what we should probably do. It's probably going to give our position away here. But I want to see how far, how much range we've actually got with this. In that's not much. However, oh, he's seen us. Raw's doing a good job of killing me, but I'm doing a shit job of killing him. Right, this, that, that's not good. We don't have the range. <sighs> Where is he? I'm coming for ya. I'm stuck. Bro, are my bullets disappearing in thin air? Okay, okay, lads. Don't even ask me why. Don't ask me why my bullets weren't... Oh, I'm over-encumbered. My bullets weren't hitting there. I don't even know. Merc Adventurer outfit. We'll boost them together. Powder gun outfit, that's fine. Motorcycle helmet, I don't need that. Let's drop that. Weapons. We're carrying so much dynamite. Police button, don't need it. Laser pistol, we could possibly sell it. Single shotguns, fine. Higher iron, don't need it. Varmint rifle? Yes. 
Lever don't need it. And we're underweight now. Let's go. Oh, look, the Mojave Express. Oh, is this where we're headed? This is where we're headed. Although the, the quest is telling us to go in here. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Mm. Who are you, good sir? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I seen it. I was a career there. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package that I was supposed to deliver. You know anything about that? I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Hmm. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Why did he cancel? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 hmm. carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Strange. And who was he? Where did he go? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Maybe. Maybe. Some might I say man stole my package. In a mighty fine suit. You ever seen him? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Hmm. That's the ones who shot me. How do I get to him? Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Right. So, Prim's deputy has been captured by Powder Gangers and Bison Steve. All right, good. We can go across the road. Don't go. Right. Thanks for the information. Oh, can we gamble here? Can we gamble? You recommend it? Okay, we'll explore the Mojave Express. I was planning on going there next anyway. And then we'll go across the road to Bison Steve. Oh. Sunset Sarsaparilla, we need this. Oh, we've already... Well, that's two, we've literally been in this building 30 seconds. We've already robbed from them. Damn. Howdy. Who is that? Howdy. Ruby Nash. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Well. Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You can gamble in My Vegas, can you? Awesome. Long -timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around a kitchen. Oh, nice. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe 
Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Well, I like to live my life on the edge. I would like a dish of that. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? No one actually sold them. Guess you'll be needing to find... Alright. That's disappointing, lads. I was looking forward to some red scorpion soup. Right now, there is a problem here. There's too many people in this hey there. area for Come. my liking. Submachine gun. Okay. Right, we might have to come back. Oh, look, they all leaving. You. Rather be left alone in my Howdy. misery, if you don't mind. I heard this bandits outside. Go on now. Go on. Go on now. Go on now, brother. Yeah. You might wanna check the front door. Howdy. Go on. Go on now. Oh nah. Hey there. Yeah. You mind guarding this dough for me? <laughs> Bro, we just got a name submachine gun. Uzi 9mm. Hard. Hard is a skill of 75. We should probably start working on that. Easy. Lads, why is this game so funny? Oh, nice butter knife. We'll leave them with the butter knife. You never know when they might need to butter some bread. Good theory is about subtlety, like how you gently nudge that lady into a closet. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, that ain't no lady, that's a man. <laughs> actually, he does, he does look, Jeremy, I'm not even, uh, he actually does look a bit like a lady. Yeah, bro, I, I'm the master of subtlety. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. Master of stealth. Commandeer of loot. Baseball, bottle cap, duct tape will take, cigarettes will sell, sledgehammer. Value 53. It's very heavy though. Yo, that was some good looting. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. What's this? Oh, wait, I thought we could turn something on. <gasps> right, let's get out of here, lads. Let's get out of here while, while the gun's good. Like, I, ooh. I mean. I'm going to get caught soon. Can't help myself. I used to be part of the Sticky Bandits. Howdy. I think we're good here. Ooh. Roulette. Howdy. Right, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else going on here. Right, here's what we'll do. We're going to go over to the Mojave Express. Because that's uh, that's where we, 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 we used to work. And then, quest. Find Prim's lawman to get information on where your attackers went. And that's in there. Okay. Oh, damn. Daniel Wand. Mojave Express Delivery Order 46. Is this the guy that... Is this the guy that... Um, didn't want the job? Damaged robot. Right, I think we're safe. 
This is an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It's well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There is very little in the way of serious damage. Try to fix it. 65 or higher. Okay. Examine the electronics. Few of the primary electronics systems seem to be fully functional. It requires a science of 55. Lads, we've got a science of 50. We could get 55 on the next level up and try and repair this. That's fine. Repair with parts. We need three pieces of scrap metal, which I think we might actually have. Two sensor modules and some scrap electronics. Well, well, well. We're so close to being at the inventory limit. Surely the parts will be in here. Ruby's casserole. Oh, damn. We are over encumbered, but that's fine. Fixing things. Okay. All right. Let's get sorted here. Nine millimeter pistol, we can't. Sledgehammer, I mean, as good as a sledgehammer is, I think we're gonna get rid of it. But what we, what we could do, this chest, ah, then again, this chest is stolen. What's not classed as steel in this? Oh. Thought we could store stuff in there. That's fine, what we could do is we could just drop some stuff here, couldn't we? Bomb rifle, drop the switchblade, spike knuckles, sledgehammer, don't care. Single shotgun will keep, knife don't need. Merc Adventurer outfit, we'll store that. Yeah, because we can make some really good money. Wasteland Wanderer looks better. There we go. Right. Okay, so we need 55. 55 science. 55 science or was it 55 repair? I think it was science. Let's go. Oh, headshot! Bro got absolutely wrecked. Shit. Shh. Why are you running? Anybody there? Beautiful. You like that? Shit, shit, shit. Are we hitting this thing? Okay, lads, the 9mm is actually quite good. Over encumbered again. Shit. Lads, I caught lads, the loot issues. Loot issue. Yeah, lad, this, this is the biggest problem with. Merc Adventurer outfit. At least we're getting some good upgrades here. Like we, we're getting bonuses for like doing things over and over again. 9mm pistol. Perfect. Another varmint rifle is nearly maxed. Right, we can't pick anything else up. Let's not pick anything else up here. Well, <laughs> I have to, I have to. Free war money. We might be carrying some stuff in the miscellaneous tab, which which is like making us heavy. So we'll see. Toy car. Don't think there's anything else here. Ivan, brother, how's it going? You're going to play the DLCs after the main story? I might do. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet, because I don't really know what the DLCs entail, but I've never actually played the DLCs ever in my life. So it could be good. Drops some unnecessary clothing loot. Yeah, I'm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep... Um, Looting the guys until I get the clothing maximum, and then we can sell them for good money. Because, like, 
I think, how, from how I remember this, is a um, better repaired equipment sell for a lot more. Oh, a maintenance door. Let me inside. Oh, prisoner. He was so lucky. Hey. Come on. Headshot. Beautiful. Right between the eyes. <laughs> he blew his own tits off. You absolute cretin. I, th I wonder what he was doing. I was like, is he throwing stuff? Oh, lads, we are a hit, man. Hush. Hmm. Nothing here after all. Yeah, nothing at all. This is the leader. <laughs> well, well, well. Nice. Flamer fuel tank. Did this guy actually have a flamer? I don't think he did. He had leather armor though. Oh, he had an incinerator. Weight 12. Right, we can't have that. We'll have to leave that. We'll take the leather armor and the trooper helmet because we can... We can maximize that. What else did we get with him? Leather armor, which we can improve all leather armor with. All leather armor's already maxed. Fine. Right. We'll definitely have to find a shop after this. I think the guy that we spoke to was a shop. Get rid of all this stuff. Make it make a good bit of coin. I want to clear this area out before we speak to that guy. Oh, is this the foyer? Oh, yeah. Ah, we can go upstairs. Nuka Cola. Right, let's go and speak to this guy. I think the ground floor is clear. We'll take the ammo. Stim packs will do. Vomit rifle. Because we need that for ours. Don't need the cleaver. We'll take the dynamite. Don't need the cigarettes. 9 minute pistol will take. Dynamite. Stim pack, vomit rifle. Right, I think we've actually maxed our, our rifle now. Drop that one. Don't need it. 9mm pistol. Perfect. We've got two really good condition 9mm pistols and we're just at the encumbrance level. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Eagle. I crossed my fingers, but my hands are numb. I got you. I've been sent here for you. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Now hold on now. I hear you have information on the cons. I came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Hmm. Well, we can't do that. All right. Get up, partner. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Well, I didn't cut you loose so you could run away now. Stay with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. All right. See you outside. Interesting. Oh, guy's sneaking out. What a legend. Got any nice food? Atomic cocktail. Everyone's dead, my brother. Well, I hope they are. Oh, repair the elevator. Oh, nice, we've repaired it. Oh shit, was this a good idea? Oh, there's enemies everywhere. Tell you what, before we do this... Ah, uh, why don't we? 
good experience, isn't it? Got you now. Whoa. <laughs> we shot him in in between the eyes. I had some psycho on him. Double tap. Hey. Bro, I'm glad we went for that plus 20. Oh, he went behind the door. Shit. Shotgun time. Ho, 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 lads, we shotgun him in the chest. <laughs> Sit down. Fresh potato. All right. Storm Chaser hat. Sunset Sarsaparilla. One key. Right, we are over and covered again, lads. We need to sell some stuff. What do we, lads? Why am I carrying a, a baseball bat with me? Bandolier armor. NC up. We're dropping the bandolier armor. I'm never going to use it. Caravania outfit. Pre-war baseball cap. Probably never going to use it. I'm all about the cowboy hat. Right, there we go. We're doing good now. I got my shotgun. There's two guys around here, so let's be careful. Whoa. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, get wrecked. Lads, we decapitated it at the neck. We'll take the dynamite, because I actually think the dynamite's pretty funny. Pre-war business way, plus five speech. That could come in handy if we need... If we need extra speech. We'll take that. Right, I think we're done. Are we done here? There's one more guy. Yo, where's this guy? There's a guy somewhere in here, but he's actually hidden. Oh, he's upstairs. E there. Easy now. Hey! Oh, beautiful! Maybe I'm just jumping. It's great you can find an outfit to convince people you speak better than you do, just like real life. Exactly, lads. If you're well, I think maybe the thing that it's flipped in modern day. Because if you see someone that's trying, it's, it's trying to speak to you with a suit on, you instantly don't trust them because you know they're trying to pretend to be something. Long fuse dynamite. I love this magnum. The only problem with using the magnum is they're quite rare. I think the nine millimeter pistol is going to be just as good. Ooh, whiskey. We'll take these drugs and possibly sell them. <laughs> we could... Bro, opportunities present itself. We have to take them. Right, there's possibly one more guy up here. Somewhere. Nuka Cola. Anybody there? Shh. Bro, where's this last guy? Is he above us again? 
Brother. Lad, this guy. Is he below me? He has to be. Anybody there? Right, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run until he starts shooting me because I can't find him. I can't find this last guy to kill. Where are ya? Ransom note. I think we're good. Anybody there? <laughs> Guy's talking. We don't know where he is. He might be glitched in the scenery. That, that is a strong possibility. Hey, Ray over the how's it going? Pro tip, don't drink from the toilet in the game. You get radiation. <laughs> it's a good job I wasn't planning on drinking from the toilet. Although, lads, when times are hard, you just never know. You just never know. I didn't want to say this when you started, but I also felt I didn't find the second horizon as enjoyable. Felt worse than the first, even though it looked better in combat elaborated. Yeah. Horizon Forbidden West just didn't do it for me. I just... Whoa, what the hell happened to the skeleton? It... It wasn't very entertaining. For me, anyway. But this, this is my style. Didn't want to influence you against it if you were going to enjoy it. Yeah, Rio, I appreciate you, 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 you not doing that. But, Rio, and for anybody else on stream, if you're not enjoying something, it's okay for you to say. Um, it, I just... In, if we're having a conversation about it, if like someone just comes in like slitting on a game, like obviously that's not on. But yeah, like I get um, Forbidden West just it it. Oh hello! Oh <laughs> this guy, this guy come on the corner. I was like, hello. <laughs> I didn't even. Start. What were you hiding in the cupboard for? Jesus Christ! I've been looking for you for the past ten minutes. Right, we've got the varmint rifle. Now, we're going to get to the shop. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We've, um, we've looted enough, I think. Although there is a... I don't know if Nuka Cola, Cola is that valuable. Are these the stairs that we could have went up? They are. Excellent. Right, lads, we're out. We're out. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So we need to find a shop. We're going to make so much... Well, I say we're going to make... Ah... Doesn't matter if the game is trash, Scotty Deal still makes a great playthrough. Cheers for that, Jeremy, brother. Yeah, your personality in the commentary makes us... Oh, I appreciate that as well, Rio. Really do. Lots of entertainment watching you fight a busted game and get frustrated. Nuka Cola is great, but I don't know if it gives you radiation. I'll have to check that out, Ivan. I've been collecting Nuka Cola because of how iconic it is, but I'm not sure what it's used for yet. I'll, um... Lads, question. Um, I don't think it's going to spoil anything. Do we get, like, a stash in this game? Or do we get, like, a house? Where we can put stuff in, or should I just like sell everything and only keep the stuff that we need? Right, tell you what, let's try matches. Two out of seven. Well, it's definitely not warring. Definitely not that. It's possibly this. Hatchet's three out of seven. Shit. Oh wait, I think I've seen one. Look. There, look. The dud's been removed. Yeah, when you see the brackets that are next to each other, you, you can get like secrets. Lads, I don't know what it could be. Hatchet. Camping. I'm, t I'm so bad at this. I wish I kind of understood it more. I probably should have watched the tutorial in all fairness. Lads, have you got any tips for the hacking? If, if, if you know any, like, secrets or things to make this better. Prisons. One out of seven. Crushed. Crushed is four out of seven. We can't be blessed. Could be smashed. Got it. Got it. That's I think as long as we find a one that's like four out of something correct, we can get it. But when we're only finding two out of something, it's too difficult. Pro tip save frequently. Ivan, that haven't actually been... Now, before we disengage lock, 
we have to because I don't have access to this. Well, well, well. Average. We can do average. I want to work towards getting hard, hard lock picks. Oh, 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 we're going to break this bobby pin. We got him. A baseball bat and 42 bottle caps. Are you kidding me? Oh, level up. Lads, in the perfect time. We need 55 science for that robot. Now, what else do we want to put our points in? Should we go more guns? I feel like... I feel like we're doing good damage. And I feel like we're quite accurate. I would like to start boosting lockpick. So if, if we get this to 59. Next level up. How many points did we get here? How many points did we get per level up? We get, we get 14 points per level up. I think we should boost lockpick to 59. And then not next level up, but the level up after we can get 75 to unlock hard locks. And I think that's going to see us to the majority of the game. And we can stop there and then work on something else. Sneak's good. Speech is terrible. But, I mean, we're going to have to deal with it. Right, what can we get now? We've seen these. Cannibal! Well, I'm lads. We could go cannibal. Speech can actually help you a lot in certain situations. I do normally go for speech in RPGs. But this one... I do want to go down there eventually. With the comprehension perk, you gain double the bonus from reading magazines. And one additional point from skill books. Double the bonus from reading magazines. That could come in handy if we need an instant influx of, of skill points. Like temporary skill points. With the educated perk you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. What about these? Why can we not have these? Oh because we don't have the level requirements. Agility 6 repair 45. Heavy armor isn't your thing so you've learned to customize light armor for maximum benefit. Plus 5 critical chance, that's not bad. But we need 45 repair for that. Hunter, 75% critical damage against animals. Radchild, survival 70, we're, we're ages off that. Run and gun, the run and gun perk reduces accuracy penalties with one handed guns and energy weapons while walking or running. That's quite good. Travel light, that's not us. While wearing light armor or no armor, you run 10% faster. Bloody messes, 5% extra damage is not very good. Fortune find a gunslinger. Oh, we need to be level 6 for this, so we, we went too far. These are all level requirements. I think we're going to go with educated lads, an extra 2 perk points every level up. I think this is wise. Because what we could do is we could take comprehension next time. And then start reading the skill books. Question, lads, as well. You gain double the bonus points from reading magazines in one additional point from skill books. I don't think we found a skill book yet. I'm definitely going to go with educated. Yeah. And it makes sense because it's the first time it's been available to us. An extra two skill points means next level up we can get 75 lockpick. Because I would I would have been one skill point short. Yeah. Um, Is there a one that boosts your carry weight? There might be. I would like more carry weight to be honest. That perk early, don't do it later. Okay, we're going to go with Educated. Boom. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think the reason why my carry weight's not great is because we've only got four strength. Blood packs. I remember blood packs being quite useful. Ooh, bottle caps. Give me them. Medex is good. Nine mil. Radex. Radex is going to come in handy when we head out on the wasteland. Lunchbox. We can build a, um, like mines with those, can't we? Ooh. Bison Steve maintenance key. I'll take it. We are over income, but I don't know how by one. I'll tell you what we can do. Aid. Bubblegum weighs one. Bubblegum weighs one. Bro, is this one kilograms of bubblegum? Jesus Christ. Lads, <laughs> back in the day, bubblegum used to weigh one kilogram. <laughs> Tell you what I used to like as a kid. We used to get these, um, I'm sure they were called hullabaloo. Hullabaloo bubblegum. And they were like big pink bubblegums. They were awesome. 
Right, are you a shop? Hey, youngster. No. Ah, do you have anything for sale? Sure. Right, lads, let's let's make some money. He's only got he's got 573, so we could buy ammo. I want to get rid of. Hold up. Another full pistol. Single shotguns, fine. Vomit rifles, fine. Merc adventurers, fine. Merc charmer. Merc adventurer, we don't want to do that. Right. Hey, youngster. Let's clear our inventory out for sale. They called Bazooka Joe's out here. Big square, tough to chew gum that came with a little comic inside. Oz was very similar. Oz used to come with. Well, you used to get, it was like, looked like a pack of cards, but it, it was a card that I, do, I, I didn't really collect them, but inside was a big pink bubble gum, and I remember the smell as well, it was incredible. I don't even think they make them anymore, right, we want to sell this pistol. 53, that's good money. Blood pack, weight one, I think we should start getting rid of all the shit that we, we've got. Dirty water. Doctor's bag will keep her. They weigh... Bro, doctor's bag weigh five. No wonder I can't carry anything. Restore all body parts. They're worth two... We'll keep them because they're worth a lot. Duct tape? Do we need duct tape? Do we need 39 dynamites? Yes, we do. We need 39 dynamites. Frag mines, I'm probably never going to use them, if I'm honest. Grimy pre-war business. We want that. Harmonica. Healing powder. Don't care. Jet? Don't care. Laser pistol? Don't care. Leather armor? It's worse than ours. We'll keep the long fuse dynamite. We'll get rid of that because it's a separate item. Medex. Damage resistant plus 25. I'm just going to sell them. Mentats. Quite good. We'll keep Mentats. It gives charisma. Merc Adventurer outfit? Weighs 8. We'll sell that for 27. Charmer outfit? More rat meat. Nuka Cola. Rads plus two, HP plus two. They do are quite valuable. We're gonna sell them. We are gonna keep the Sunspec Sarsaparilla though, because that's part of a quest. Powder Gang outfit. Get rid of them. Free war money, sell. Psycho. Damage plus plus twenty-five percent damage, we'll keep that. Radiation resistance plus forty-one, we'll keep that. Rebound, regenerates HP, Scotch, don't need care. Single shock and we'll sell the shit one. Stim pack we'll keep. Super stim pack we'll keep. Trooper helmet we'll sell. Varmint rifle we'll sell the basic one. And that's it. Whiskey we'll get rid of. White horse nettle. Wonder glue we'll sell. Right, that's good. So let's buy some stuff because we're giving him some free money here. I would like... Aid. Ammo. We want the Magnum ammo. Let's buy all 33 of them. Because the Magnum's awesome. I think we need some 9mm rounds, maybe. Just in case. And that'll do. That's, doing business with you. that's been an excellent job. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll speak to this guy when we come back, but I need, to, I need to take a little quick break. So let's save the game. And then we'll see where we go. We'll go and see if we can repair that robot first thing next episode. And look, there's a robot there. This guy's actually got something to say about the robot, so we'll speak to him about it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one. Oh, and there's Deputy Beagle. Perfect. He made his way here eventually. Lads, we're going to take a five-minute break. Because uh, I'm dying for the toilet. New Vegas. Yeah, the game's fantastic. I do think... It's just one of my pet peeves. But... I, I really dislike managing an inventory. But I don't actually think it's going to be that bad in this game because I don't really think there's anything I need to buy. Like, once we get once we get geared up, we can start just leaving everything in the wasteland. You know what I mean? Wait, you're playing normal or hardcore? Oh, Ivan, I'm just playing on normal. Um, f funny story, lads. Well, I'll tell you this quick story. Back, back, back in the day when this was released, me and my best mates all got this game at the same time. Um... 
the two of us, me and my other friend, started this on normal mode and we were having an absolute blast. Let we've got we've got an we've I've got another mate, right? I don't know why. He always like wants to play things on the hardest like not necessarily the hardest difficulty, but like the survival and that and when this game came out it was quite I wouldn't say revolutionary, but it was quite new at the time to have like a survival mode where you got thirsty, you had to eat, you couldn't fast travel without getting dehydrated or starving and stuff like that. And he um <laughs> he started on hardcore mode. About two weeks later, we were all together and we were talking about the game. And we were talking about, oh, we've been there, we've done this, da da da. And he was like, oh, I've just, I've just, I've just got out of like the second town. Bro put in about 50 hours in the game and he didn't even make it past the second town because he had these survival mechanics. Bro, that's not for me. I don't, I don't like dealing with stuff like that. Right, lads, we'll be back in five.
Right, back in the room. Here we go. Right. Oh, that's comfortable. Lovely jabbly. But we're not in the right position, unfortunately. Is this the right position? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Right. Right, let's continue looking for the man in the suit. Last episode, we rescued. Not uh, oh, howdy, howdy, man. We rescued this deputy. Lad, this, this guy gets gets rescued. The first thing he does is gamble. My man. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? I did. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Hmm, hold on. There, that's better. Right. Well, tell you what. Can you tell me about the man in the suit? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Nipton to Novak? What was this guy going to say about the skirt before he stopped himself? Hello again. I'm what are you talking about? You the sheriff now. Oh no, I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. Myers. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Because they're cowards. I'll bring a law and order back here. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. It might be worthwhile going to the prison. Move along, please. Right, where's the where there? This guy. We could ask this guy about the robot, couldn't we? Howdy. Hey there. Hey, youngster. Listen. What's some questions about your robot? That beat up whole thing. Yeah. What do you want to know? What's wrong with it? Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. <laughs> Scotty seems like he secretly likes Caesar's Legion. <laughs> you never know. You never know. We've never met them yet. So we'll have to see. Do you mind if I try to fix it? Hey, you're welcome to try. It's yours if you can get it working. All right. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Hmm. Where did you get it? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Hmm. All right. Let's go see this robot. Prim Slim. Bro, he's got a cowboy hat. <laughs> My man. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky Advance Casino and Museum. Ooh. 
reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim Sheriff. I mean, what could possibly go wrong if we did that? Who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Oh, I, I do like this guy. I like this guy. I think we should reprogram him. Let's do it. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Okay, lads. 387 experience for doing that. Happy trails. Oh, damn. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. I thought we might have been able to say something to him about getting the... We've got a new sheriff in town. Howdy. Right, let's get out of here. So we need to go... Howdy. Howdy. We need to go in here. Maybe this was the robot that that guy was talking about and not the, the sheriff robot. I was getting a bit confused there. But we should be able to do this now. Because we've got... 55 science. Brilliant. A few of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary system should compensate. Science 55. Run the bypass. With the redundant systems compensating for damaged primary circuitry, many of the gyroscopes begin spinning. The repair doesn't look like it'll be too complicated now. Repair 35 or higher. We have it. Oh my god. Where is it? Begin. EDE ED has given you the enhanced sensors perk. All right. Let me access your multi tools. Oh, that portable crafting bench. Interesting. We would like him to keep a distance. Keep distance. Open him. Oh, this is nice. Lads, I can't, I can't remember this being a thing. We want them to... Be passive. Relatively passive. Talk to. Right. Tactics interface, storage open. Oh, we can give him storage. And that's it. We can't really speak to it. That's fine. Right, wait there. What's this quest? Because we've got a quest for Edie. Bring Edie to the Gibson Scrapyard in Novak. Right, well, that's that's we're actually headed there. Head to Novak through Nipton. Ask around Novak about your attackers. Or, let me get out of here. Need to check the world map. Got a few things around. We've got the canyon wreckage we've never been to. The NCR correctional facility. I mean, lads, I think we should possibly go here. Do you think? Nipton's just there. The Mojave outpost. Tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to go to the canyon wreckage first, which is northwest. We will then fast travel there and we'll go to the NCR Correctional Facility. See if we can rescue that guy. Even though he's not going to be the sheriff. We'll we'll see what's cooking. Right, so we need to head north. There's an enemy here. Maybe not. We need to head northwest. Come on then. We'll head out at night so we can be, we can be quiet. Stealthy. Yeah, I like the 9mm, that's quite good. I don't think it does as much damage as, as the other weapons, but it's quite fast firing. Oh, this way. It's directly west. 
shouldn't take us too long to get here, although these mountains are quite big and there's enemies everywhere. Lads, it's a robot. I forgot I forgot we even had the robot. There must be a better way to get there. You think We might not investigate the canyon wreckage. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can go up and around. Fingers crossed. This is looking promising. There we go. We found it. Now, robot, I don't know much about you. You gotta stay hidden. Stay quiet. Frag grenades, baby. Enemies. Quiet, that thing shoots lasers, does it? <laughs> Shh. Put a silencer on your lasers, partner. Feels bad. That's some wild dogs. Bro, we killed that in one hit. Iotis. Canyon wreckage, right? What have we got here? The Divide. Korea 6. Lads. You can go home. Why? Do they know I'm here. We can't actually get past. Yo, we can't get past. Really? You kidding me? Bus door's the entrance. Bus door, bus door. Oh shit, lads. Ivan, well spotted. I would have that looks just that just looks like scenery to me. You cannot bring others with you into the divide. This road is one you must walk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. That's DLC, isn't it? We're not doing DLC. I just want to do main game. Lonesome road, that, that rings a bell. Okay. I kind of wish this is the DLC. Okay, we're avoiding that. We, we don't want to do that. I kind of wish we could turn the DLC off. Just while we complete the main game. Right, okay. Now we want to head to the... The Correctional Facility. How the gangers? There's something. It's just the wildlife. We're fine. Come on. I think it's best to walk about with a pistol because you move full speed. And then you've still got like a gun in case shit goes down. Gotta be prepared. Get wrecked. Bro, eyes popped out of his head. Friendly? I, th I thought this guy was friendly. I thought that guy was going to rob this guy. Well, now you did. Beautiful. 
<laughs> There's more. It's all right, it's all right. That's definitely their base, lad. There's so many red dots. I think we should go with Sniper Ghost Warrior. Take it easy. I don't think this gun's going to cut to this range. I think we should wait till we get... Right, where's the entrance? Entrance is there. Got him! Oh shit, lads. Bro! What a shot. Punk brother, how's it going? You remember this bit? This this looks awesome. We're gonna We're gonna clear them out. We're gonna smoke them out, boys. 360 no scope moment. <laughs> There's another one there. I don't know if we're gonna have as much luck on this as we did the first time. But in case things go bad. Let's take up camp behind this rock. Caution. Shh. You saw. Hey, hey, stop. What are you doing? Bro, I told this thing to be passive. I hit the rock. Got him. Bro, I can't see shit. He, he's. I don't know who this guy's fighting, but he's, he's winning. Is he dead? Bro, this gun's terrible. This guy's the Lone Ranger. Just send him in. Bro, you're doing too much work. Yeah, just. Bro's supposed to be passive. He's the least passive thing ever. Um. Back up. Yeah, just, just, just chill. Brother, just... He's still fighting things. Shotgun! Oh, beautiful! Dude is a literal Terminator. This guy is... A who is he killing? He's just killing everybody. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. Brother. Brothers cleared the thing out for us. Look at him. He's just he's sitting there silently happy. Everything's dead. Alright. <laughs> Always love minimalist UI in these games. What more do you need? True. It... It's excellent. I, wish, I do wish we had a companion button for stop killing everything. We might have to leave him somewhere. Oh, do we have the key? We have the key. Hey! Come on! Oh, look, lads! Doesn't this guy. Doesn't this guy look like. someone famous? He's in a load of movies. He's about to die, though. Why are you running? It's on fire. Oh, that's Myers. Myers? Aren't we supposed to be rescuing Myers? Chill, 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 chill. Sorry. I mean, uh, Edie, this is the, this. We were supposed to be rescuing this guy. <laughs> we we. I mean, we did, we did re we we liberated him. We liberated him from this this plane of existence. Unfortunately, 
Bro, this guy was part of the powder gang. Oh, maybe he was part of the powder gang. He ain't part of shit now. I can tell we're going to have a hell of a time with this Edie character. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, Ivan, what I, th how I think we're going to do this is... Um, we're just going to roll with it. We're not reloading save games unless there's something specific I want to try out. We're just... <laughs> I mean, who's to argue with Edie? Amy. Dinner plates. Yeah. Myers ain't gonna make it. Yeah, we'll we'll take the drugs that we need. Now, what does this say? This might give us some backstory. Ah, it's broke. Check all codes for connection. All right. Well. Well, that was in really good condition, that cowboy hat. Excellent. Hockey mask. Outer Gang simple outfit. Ooh, that'll sell for some good money. 10 millimeter pistol. 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter pistol does what? How much damage? 12 damage. How much does my... This does 17. I think the weathered one is slightly better, maybe. Yeah, we'll keep the weathered one. Straight razor. Simple shotgun. It's fine. All right, let's go. We've still got people here that need um, liberating. Na 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 na. shot you've gained karma bro guys playing music then in it Well, this guy's pretty hard. This guy needs a shotgun to the face. I'm coming for ya. Why are you running? <laughs> guy wanted to be in this tower so but Ooh. Oh yeah, lads. We we are we are exterminating. Level up, perfect. Right, what do we want? Sixteen skill points. We need lockpick to seventy-five. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Definitely gonna go with that. Beautiful. Now we can unlock hard um, things. No, is the shotgun's actually not that bad. I didn't think we'd be using it, but it's quite funny up close. <laughs> it just eviscerates people. No. We came out of that building there, so let's check this one. We probably need to go all pistolero in here. You ready? Let's go. You ain't got shit. Oh, guy's got a machine gun. Oi! This guy. This guy just sets fire to people. Bro, we've seen how many of them they are. Oh, 
Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. I know what we need. We need stall hand granatas. Stall hand granata! Come on. Is anybody there? Oh, there's definitely someone here. It's me. Reaching clear. Reaching clear. <laughs> oh shit! I'm pulling. The, I'm pulling the grenade. I'm pulling the pin. It's too late. It's too late. It's on his body. It's in his nut sack. I actually think I blew myself up. I think I'm bleeding inside my chest. Fine. Just pounded the stem packed. <laughs> Guys can't do stuff. So much nostalgia for the sound effects. Punk, the nostalgia is great. Does New Vegas do the ka-ching sound too? I'm not sure. I will save some nades for the bigger enemies later on. Ivan, good call, good call. I was getting a bit too hectic up there. <laughs> and another one for good measure. The thing is though, we got the fi this thing got the final ki kill cam on him and I'd already pressed throw grenade and the grenade landed in this guy's nutsack. He, he's definitely not going to make it. Tell you what we should do. Does it tell you how much damage they do? Grenades do 82 damage. Dynamite only does... Okay, yeah. We should definitely save grenades for bigger enemies. But dynamite does less damage. So we'll, we'll put that in our quick slot. So we can get some explosions on the go because it is pretty funny. Dynamite! Right, before we leave here, let, let's get all of these guys' loot. We'll repair everything and we'll move on to the, the next room. Bro, look at all, look at these bodies. Look at the carnage we caused. I was going to say that was all me. Do you know what? We didn't even have to waste them stim packs. We could have rested. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know. We need as much and as many healing items as possible. Doctor's bag, that's nice. Okay. Let's see what... Submachine gun. Oh, lad, I think we should test the submachine gun out. Decent. 9mm pistol. Magnum revolver. Revolver's at max. Excellent. Knives, we don't need knives, but we'll, we'll keep a hold of it. Police button, si simple shotgun. Fine. Switchblade, we'll get rid of that. Vomit rifle. Now. Look at all this powder gang armor. Play an outfit. Done. Sun oh, we've got sunglasses. Okay, we're going to be big pimping. We'll wear them. Excellent, now we're underweight. Yeah. Howdy, partner. Oh, we are the Wasteland Wanderer. <laughs> the D in Scotty D stands for death. <laughs> it does. It actually does. The funny thing... Uh, this guy deserves the title of Deathbringer more than him, more than me, but I mean we're, we're we're doing our best. Okay. I don't need any of that stuff. We're fine. We're going upstairs. Okay. Get the nine mil out. I think everybody's dead. I can't wait to use the dynamite to breach and clear rooms. It's it's just it, I don't know why it, it, it's amusing to me. Warden's terminal terminal. Comments on Caesar's Legion threat. I've seen the reports of the so-called Caesar's Legion. It sounds like they're just another bunch of raiders, but the higher ups back west seem to think they're a serious threat. Prisoner conspiracy. Something's going on, and I'm not sure Cook is behind it all. No evidence yet, but something just feels off about Cook. 
He's quite popular among the younger prisoners and many of them seem to have been taken in by this anti-NCR dogma. Cook's group are all model prisoners, especially Cook himself. They don't fight and they always do what they're told. They make me nervous and I'd have them watched every second of the day if I could. Complaint to the NCR, it's fine. God transfers to the east. Not interested, let's go. Bladed gauntlet. It's interesting, but it weighs too much. I don't care. Damn. What did the warden have here? Cat eye, that's for night times. An empty syringe, Hydra, pre war money, cycle rod X. Xander Root, don't care. Peaches. He now goes by Peaches. Right, let's get out of here. That's it. Lads, we like dynamite and we like sunset sarsaparilla. Beautiful. Sensor modules, didn't we need? Oh, we needed them to repair the robot, but we did it without it. Fine. Right. Come on, Edie. Let's go. Biddy, 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 biddy. Oh, that was carnage in here. Now, any more buildings? Out of curiosity, let's inspect the watchtower just in case that I'm looking for a sniper rifle or something. I need something with a scope on it so we can hit some long range shots. Because when using this rifle, you're at the mercy of like the, the bullet spread. Super stim pack, excellent. Okay, that was good. Good news. We've been up there. There's one more building. You ready? Edie? Breach and clear. Found Stahl Hanganata! Oof, damn! <laughs> you got lit up like a Christmas tree! An egg timer. Powder gang soldier outfit. Trooper helmet. Don't care. Anybody else in here? They left the prisoners with grenades. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the wisest choice. <laughs> Shit, it's right here, but the controls are so sensitive. Okay, that's our first pop Bobby Pin broke. It's not going to be the last. There we go. I will take the dynamite. Plain outfit, soldier outfit. Nah, I don't care. Dynamite. Frag mines. We'll probably sell the frag mines. I'll never use frag mines. Well, we, we could. We could set up some traps, but I think the enemies rush you too much to be able to do that unless you, like, really plan it out. Okay, there's nothing. I think this house is clear. So that's it. This wasn't actually a quest, was it? It was just you could come here if you wanted to. Set traps for Russian melee enemies with doors. Ivan. Good call. 
Yeah, if we if we come across like a bandit camp or something, we see there's loads of them. We could set up like a load of mines on a hill, maybe fun, funnel them in. That could actually be a lot of fun. I'll keep I'll keep them on me. Isn't it funny how we get negative karma from stealing from bandits? I mean, stealing is technically stealing, no matter who they are. But steal. Right, come on then. We'll check this one because I think there's there's a dead guy up here which we got with that headshot. That mighty impressive headshot earlier on. If I may add. He just had a vomit rifle. Fine. Energy cell 27? Yeah, we'll take that. And that's it. Come on then. So I think we should head to Novak. Head to Novak through Nipton. But weren't we going to... Let's head to the Mojave outpost because we've got to head to, to Nipton there. We'll head south from Prim. The good news is we can travel to Prim, unload our equipment. Hey, Digi brother, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good and I think everybody in chat's doing well. We're having a blast with this. The kid, this game's actually incre incredible. There's still enemies in here and I don't know why. Do these guys in... Oh, these guys have repopulated this. You got that old... Oh, he's got... Nice, he's got 512 caps back. Perfect. Let's start selling... These. Well. Wait there. Magnum Revolver. We can get good money for this, because we've got two now. We'll sell the... Oh, we've got the submachine gun. We need to test this out. We've got three... 300, how much damage does this do? 10 damage per shot. That's actually amazing because the pistol does one more damage per shot. But yet I imagine this submachine gun fires a lot faster. Okay, we're, we're going Tommy gunning. Sell the brass knuckles. We'll sell the vomit rifle. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, young. So you're doing That's the main awesome. quest first, no side quest. Ivan, I'm doing side quests when we come across them. I'm going to hit up all the little squares on the map to try and see what's there on the way through the main quest. The submachine gun's great for insects. All right. Good to know. Okay. Let's get rid of weapons. We'll get rid of the second revolver, second pistol. Brass knuckles don't care. We've got 53 dynamites. Jesus Christ. We'll keep the frag mines. Knife. Don't want the laser pistol. We'll get rid of the, that. That. We'll get rid of the second shotgun. Razor. Switchblade. Second rifle. And now apparel. We want to get rid of the... Goggles helmet. Hockey mask. All of the guard outfits... They're not actually worth that much anyway. We'll keep the cowboy hat because we can use that to fuse to other things. Good sketch. What about aid that we don't need? I think we've got far too many doctor's bags. They weigh... Oh no, they weigh six because they only weigh one each. My bad. I thought they were weighing five each. But now that we've got six, it's total weight. Interesting. Okay, so these things aren't that bad. Nuka Cola will sell. That meat. Five weapon repair kits. Look, we're carrying about all this miscellaneous lads. This is why we're this is why we're so over encumbered. Cigarettes, pre-war money, electronics, metal, sensor module, wrench, coyote hide, cigarette. We can. Do we need the NCR money for anything? I'm selling it. 512. We need to buy some stuff. I think we should buy some more. Magnum rounds. Buy some 
nine millimeter rounds. Bro, how much? How much did we sell him? Two, two, three rounds. 20 LR. I don't even know what weapon this is for. Magnum hollow points. He only sells two. Did you hear about the new Warhorse game reveal on Thursday? I didn't. New Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Bro, Digi. I didn't hear about the new Warhorse game. Is it? Is it Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? Because that's one of my favourite games of all time. They just need to fix the lockpicking in the game. Ivan, I remember the lockpicking being a bit dodgy, but I can't actually remember what it was. Right, that's fine. I'm not bothered if I need any money. That's fine. We'll just... Give me we'll a shot that. if you need anything else. Questions about Edie. That beat up old pile. Where did it come from? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. You do realize it's an after beast in combat. Don't go getting yourself shot. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna head to the Mojave outpost directly south of here. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, we don't know anything yet, but everyone's hoping it's a sequel. Digi, I am praying the reveal is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 because the first game was, it wasn't just special, it was extra special. It was so good. Can we even leave south of here? Apparently we can. Oh, we we can leave this way. Yeah, if we go back up there and around. Are we going to see any hideous creatures here? Because we haven't really found anything too dangerous yet. Like um, a death claw or a rad scorpion. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. California Sunset Drive-In. Is this relevant? We'll follow the road. Yo, what are you fighting? Ghouls! Well, this companion's too good. We might have to get rid of him. There's more. Okay, we've got lots of enemies here. Damn. Oh, the map's getting lit up red. He, he's fighting things. Ghouls. Damn. Shit, we ran out of bullets. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If anything, the guy's got my back at all times. Headshot. Beautiful. We gained karma for killing ghouls. Oh, wait there. We need to try the submachine gun now, don't we? Submachine gun. This will be perfect for these guys. I think we should replace the... Magnum regular 10mm pistol, 9mm pistol. We don't have enough room. I'm going to replace the vomit rifle. I just don't think we're... I don't think the vomit rifle is that good. Damage-wise. 13 damage. Oh, 
yes. Uzi time. Uzi 9mm. It's a bit shit. Bro, this doesn't seem like it should be... It seems like it should be doing more damage. I mean, it eviscerates in VATS. Iron sights are pretty terrible. It's great against wings. That's about it. Okay, so you wouldn't recommend this. We'll give it a shot for now. I, I, I like the sound of it. Are we heading in the right direction? Oh, look there. We'll head towards the statues. That's got to be... That's directly south. The wasteland's full of ghouls. It's much better to hit fire. Funny enough. Okay, yeah, lads. Don't aim down sights with these. Seems to be a lot more accurate just from the hip. One thing is this is tearing up my 9mm armor. We can always buy more. I'm all about the experience gains. We must be getting a level up soon. Oh, shh. What's this? We'll check out the petrol station first. There's the town we came from. It's infested. Danger. Rad scorpions. Light it up. Okay, I actually quite like this. <laughs> Just send as many bullets down range as possible. Yeah, baby. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice one, my brother. What we can do is we can stop. We can stop to check inside. We're still in danger, apparently. Danger. Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's a... Oh, look, it was just a baby hiding in the bush. The dead baby. Should, should we be drinking this Sunset Sarsaparilla? Because we only get the... We've got 29 of these. I think we should start drinking these because we need the bottle caps, don't we? Bottle cap added. Does the two health per second stack? I mean, I think it does. Now, looky, looky here. Major Stain's Journal. Another stealth boy. Oh, an average gun. There's going to be something good in here. Come on, baby. I want some heavy artillery. Boxing gloves. Okay, we didn't get anything good. Well, let's keep going. There's another town over in that direction. Oh, that's the town we have to go through. Is that Nippon? Maybe. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
who goes there? Hey now. Hey there. Oh. Hey there. Need anything? What are you buying? What are you selling? Sure. Here's what I got. Yo, we've got 2,600 already. Is there anything we can sell weapons wise? Um. Sell that. I don't think we've really picked much up. That oh, were good. Yeast. We'll keep the journal. That'll do. Is she selling anything good? Weapons. Laser pistol, plasma defender. 4,000! Jesus! Tri beam laser, 6,000. Okay, we don't have that money. Biker goggles. Cowboy hat. Nah, that's it. No, accept. You're doing business with you. I would like to stay, but I have uni soon. See you later. Hey, Ivan. Good luck at uni. Take, take care and I'll see you later. So this is the Mojave outpost, I think. It is. It's neutral, so we should be welcomed here. Well, relatively speaking. I wonder if some sort of trading outpost. In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada and Rangers of the New California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for the NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas and Southern Nevada against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Alright, so that's what this is for. Interesting. Hello. Coming Hello. from the north? Must be crazy to brave those roads. Yeah. It's hell out there. What is this place? Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. All right. Any work around here? Nothing I know of. But if you've come from the north, means you can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Just be careful you go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. Ah. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight. He can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Watch yourself. Nice meeting you, sir. Right, let's go and check out the... That there was a bar and a sniper on the roof. Look, what are these guys? These things are called Brahmin, aren't they? Go free, my brothers. You have been liberated. <laughs> Bro, where was a good karma for that? Let's check the roof first. Hopefully we don't get shot. Free. Oh, I like this settlement. Raise free, baby. Oh, their uniform is cool. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. What's the pay? The pay? The pay is a good goddamn thanks from the heart of the Republic. Just shitting you with the NCR line. Done wonders for morale around here. President Kimball keeps saying getting shot at is its own damn reward. Do this job for me, though. I'll do what I can. People know I hate most everyone, so if I put in a word for you, that's gold. Hmm. Okay, then. 
What's the problem? I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. Good. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. If I go through, I'll check it out. Better than nothing, but close to it. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? All right. Keep Mind your eyes on down. the prize. Right. Punk, I thought the the word nipping sounded familiar. Nip nice tea. <laughs> right. I've never actually had it. Nipton iced tea. It does sound good right about now. I don't even like iced. I don't even like iced tea, but I could certainly drink some now. Let's check the barracks out. There's bound to be loot here. Oh, hey, 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 hey there! New face in the outpost. Must have come from the Lipton. <laughs> so, what do you have? It's actually Lipton iced tea. Yeah, I'm looking for work. Work around here. Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. She was alright. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Fine. Yeah, that, that'll be all. Cass. Looking for trouble? Well, if you are, you might have just found it. We'll keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. And what are you selling? How about a drink? How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Damn. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. It's a shame we can't see her face because of a gun. Back west? Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here, and I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or did. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. Hmm. Don't sound like raiders. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. Hmm. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Hey, and uh, on, a, on a side note, you wouldn't have any nowhere you could find any of these. New Vegas virgins. <laughs> Just point me in that direction right there. It was Jackson. NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Runs the place. He's over in the main building. The one without a bar. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. Mm. So if you came here for work, my advice... Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Crimson Caravan. What's up? Ah, heartache by the number. That's a quest for her. We're going to find the Crimson Caravan site. That's fine. Okay. We'll see if we can help her out if we're, if we're in the, Hello. the region. Now, any loot? Because this is the barracks. It's all empty. We could have a nap. Are we allowed to have a nap? We, we are allowed to have a nap. I think we're okay, actually. Then again, don't you... If this is anything like Skyrim, don't you get a, an experience boost for resting? I might be wrong. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you... Okay, we'll go and check out the main build and see if this guy's got a quest for us. And then we'll, then we'll check our quest log and see where, where we can go from here. 
I'm looking for your boss. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Mr. General Vagrant. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. All right. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Anything you need help with? Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. Right. He's sort of... All right. I guess I'll just go on back here. <sighs> too many people. Too many people to steal that. I guess they don't do much administration around here. They've <laughs> got nothing on their desks. <sighs> the only administration I need is a gun with bullets. That will be nice. Where's the boss? Hello. Ranger Jackson? That's him in it. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. It's a mighty fine mustache you got there. How can I help? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. We came from the north. Alright then. How much? We can't say that. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Good man. Can you find it in your heart? Right, hold on. Let me check these quests. So. Where is Heartache by the Number? Oh, shit. That is miles away. All right. What about this? Can you find it in your heart? It's just here. So it looks like there's going to be... We've already just passed that. The Nipton Road rest stop. We can do that quest there. Interesting. We should do this first before we head east. We won't go quietly. Right, let's go. Can count on that. Where's Edie? Oh, there, there he is. <laughs> Edie, 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 Edie. There's a load of guys. I don't know if that's a load of enemies we have to kill. Hello. Or if that's our friends. Clear out the critters on the, the road. That's fine. Let's do it. Let's get to blasting. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job with this game. I, I like everything about it. I like how the writing's relatively concise as well. I've played plenty of RPGs in my time where they feel like to be an RPG, you have to have like 45,000 encyclopedias worth of dialogue in a single cutscene, in a single dialogue session. You just don't need it. That's To be immersed, I like people to be sincere and, and to the point. Are these guys friendly? Well, that's the mercenary that we, we met. Oh shit. Bro, that was this thing growling. I thought it was an actual enemy. Oh, this is good. Tell you what we want. I would actually like to get rid of the shotgun. I, I need the... I need the vomit rifle back. The shotgun's funny, but it's not really good for range. Right, let's take it easy. The rants. What a shot!
Okay, big boy is... Oh, what is that? Oh, shit! Brother's got my back! Stall hand on Oh, it's already dead, it's already dead. <laughs> I light it up! Bro, we did it. Level up as well. Right, what were we aiming for? We could possibly take science. Try and get it to 75, maybe. Or do we improve sneak or speech? Or guns? I'm thinking guns. Conventional ammunition. We could no worries, I'm gonna push guns to 50. Just so it's it's done. And then I think we're gonna work on We haven't had much many interactions to even use speech. I might just leave that low, actually. I might start boosting sneak or sight. Okay, we'll get science to 60. Because I want that at 75 eventually so we can hack like high level terminals. But I don't care, energy weapons don't care, explosives don't care. Actually, explosives is quite fun. But we don't use it too much. I'll bang this next point into sneak. Because it's going to come in handy. Now, what do we get? Run and gun. 100 weapons. Gunslinger. While using a pistol or similar 100 weapon, your accuracy and VAT is significantly increased. I think we are probably going to go more one-handed weapons than, than rifles because I use rifles all the time in other Fallout games. I want to change it up a bit. Lead belly. Shotgun suit. Toughness. I think we're going to go with gunslinger. For accuracy in VATS. We do fight most things up close and personal. So yeah. Lads, we're going with gunslinger. I've made the decision. We're going to go pistols primarily. Gunslinger. Let's, we've done it. We've done it. We've made the choice. Actually, we've never saved it in ages. Let's quickly stick a cheeky save on the go. Lovely. Is this quest complete? No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not. Here's Johnny. Nice shooting, son. Come to Papa. Smoke him out. That was that was a terrible throw. Light it up. <laughs> that was complete overkill. You can still get some long range from revolver. Oh, good to know, Rio. Good to know. I, I thought that the revolver is like really accurate in this game. The iron sights isn't the best, but it's still good. I, I love the nine millimeter. I think this is this is an awesome gun. I just know it doesn't do doesn't do good damage. Right, that's it. Quest done. Why don't we fast travel back? Turn it in. That was decent. Because I think the, the why I think pistols are going to be good is because the the rifles use so many points in VAT, and then you have to like reload them. Whereas if we can just run in, spam loads of them um, handgun shots in VAT, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Especially if we you, we probably don't use it when we fight one or two enemies, but three or four we definitely have to use VAT to survive. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you. But nothing else on the radar at the moment. All right. What about the reward? I didn't do that for free. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not going to come check. So here you go. Just between us. I thought he was going to... Oh, we got a service rifle. I thought he was going to stiff us there, and I wouldn't have been best pleased. Service rifle. 12 damage. It's not too bad. 
Not great. So wait there, 5.56 ammo, damage 12. Bro, our vomit rifle does 14 damage now. And it uses 5.56 ammo as well. However, when the service rifle's maxed out, it's probably going to be good. We'll hold on to it. Hello. Right then, we're heading east. I don't think we've got any more quests here. I think we're done. Where is the new Gibson scrapyard in Novak? Just out of curiosity. So Novak's there. That's where we're essentially headed eventually. But we need to get through Nipton. Let's do that. Nipton it is. Also, because we haven't checked, I'm just speculating, I'm just guessing. What is the actual difference? 9mm does 12 damage. Submachine gun does 11. The Magnum Revolver does how much? Lads, I hate damage 20. That's why that's so powerful. I don't like games that give me DPS numbers. I don't care. I only ever care about single shot damage. I can work out DPS in my head if I guess the fire rate and stuff. I'm always more interested in just the raw damage one shot gives. I don't think that DPS is needed at all. Okay. So where's the 10 millimeter? That does... 10 millimeters? Badass! Okay, I didn't realize it did that much damage. Shit, the bed. We're going to follow this road all the way to that town. And that's Nipton. Nipton iced tea. Oh shit, lads. I've just, just seen the time. We're going to call it an episode here. Let me make a hard save. And we'll continue our journey to Nipton first thing next episode. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one. Lads on stream, we're going to take a five minute break. I want to check the dog's all right. I want to let the dog out. See if she needs a, a toilet break as well. And we'll be back with more Fallout. If. Well, I don't, I don't want to say this too soon. I don't know how long this game is going to be. I remember this game being quite long. However. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, I don't know how long this game is. But I remember spending quite a bit of time on it when it was first released. I don't really remember much about it at all, though. I might even potentially go onto Fallout 4 from... Well, depending on when the Fallout 4 update happens, because we're getting like a next-gen update, but I've read things that it might be more so for consoles than PC. I might go into Fallout 4 because, uh, lads, I'm having, I'm having such a good time with this. Like, I can't believe how much fun this is. <laughs> These games are extremely long if you try and do everything. I don't think I don't think I want to try and do everything. I'm not going to try and 100% it. I just want to go through naturally, play my character out, see where things take us. If, there's, if we get so far through the game and there's any good quests that we might have missed, let me know because we'll... we'll We'll take a detour to go and do them. Like if there's any like really interesting, funny quests that we can do or any like long ones that are easy to miss, we'll definitely do them. I'll, I'll even search the internet later on once we get deeper into the playthrough just to see if there's anything that I've missed that might be be worthwhile. You've got a patch to Fallout 4 on PC. Looks and plays beautifully. I bet it does. I, th I think because the mechanics in Fallout 4 are fantastic. Fallout 4 is better graphics, but potentially not as good of a, as a game as Vegas though. Yeah, I've read a... Um, I think it was maybe last year I watched a like a video documentary on the Fallout games and the differences between them and stuff. And I know people love Fallout New Vegas. I like Fallout New Vegas from what I remember. I don't really remember much of Fallout 3. I don't re really remember much of Fallout New Vegas. I remember Fallout 4 because it's the last Fallout game I played. And still some things are a bit hazy. But I think Fallout 4's playtime is a lot longer than the other Fallout games simply because of all of the other mechanics that they've implemented, like the base building. The, the, there's, there's so many different factions in Fallout 4, which I think is amazing. I think if we do play Fallout 4, it's going to be a really long playthrough. 
but that's fine. I have a lot of love for Fallout 4, it's just they reduced the dialogue options. That's my biggest complaint. They give it a Mass Effect dialogue system, which it's it's fine, but I like being able to see what we were going to see. And also, Punk, I don't know if you were here when I mentioned this. One of my negatives about Fallout 4 was the... The 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 main character is a character you just... It's not you. It's somebody else. They've got the their own voice lines and they say their own things after you pick the four dialogue choices. But there's a mod that I've seen for Fallout 4 that removes all the cutscenes that look at your character and removes all of your character's dialogue so you can roleplay it more. If we play Fallout 4, I might get that mod. You don't like the story and also the voice acting. Yep, you've got it. Protagonist doesn't feel like you're playing it. Yeah, Rio, that, that's my issue with it. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. I enjoy Fallout 4. But I think if we play the game, we'll try and get that mod so it's more of us playing it. So we can have a laugh and like say silly things. It's 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 gonna be good. Lads, we'll take a five minute break. I'm gonna let the dog out and um we'll be right back.
Right, lads, we're back. Sorry for that. Uh, we were a little bit longer than expected, but I seen a pack of salami in the fridge and I just had to eat it. <laughs> lads, lads, it was there. It was already open. I did no wrong. Let's have a look. And the building mechanic was cool in Fallout 4, but not needed really. Really, you didn't like the story and also the voice acting. Yeah, you got it. The protagonist doesn't feel like you're playing it. Never sided with the Institute, so that's one playthrough I can still do. I cannot remember what I did on my playthrough, my first playthrough of Fallout 4. I've got no idea, it's so long ago. But I do remember the Institute. It was your, um, actually I'm not giving you spoilers in case anybody hasn't played it, but yeah. You can pretty much side with every faction in a single playthrough. You just have to know which missions to stop at. If you want to keep everyone neutral, ah, uh, yeah. Because I think, I think when I very first played Fallout 4, I got so far into the game and I was talking to my friends about it and I think that's what I ended up doing. I tried to like stay relatively neutral with factions, but I don't necessarily think that's like the most fun way to play. I'm guilty of like trying to do every quest in the game, but sometimes I just like to play a game and just go ruthless at it, piss everyone off that we don't care about assassinate people we don't like instead of trying to like pay the, the the balancing act but it's a um actually i do know what i did on my first playthrough i'm pretty sure i destroyed the brotherhood of steel i think that's what i ended up doing i, I killed them all <laughs> took all the armor and loot you've done the main mission in two different ways ah interesting i wonder how many endings are to well actually there's probably well, there's probably only one way to finish Fallout 4, but the end game scenes will be different, won't they, depending on who you sided with and stuff. Right. Let's get prepared. Lads, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging this game so far. I'm digging the exploration. Funny thing is, I can't actually remember, like... Does anybody... When, when was this game released? Bloody hell, I bet you when I see this date, I'm going to think, where's my life gone? Fallout New Vegas release. Dude. 2010! Jesus! Punk, two, I, punk 2010? That is crazy. You're right, 2010. 14, nearly 15 years ago. October. October 2010, so, so so 14, nearly 14 years ago. Jesus. That's crazy, son. Actually crazy. I still think it's a good game. Fallout 3 was 2008. Lads, I do think we need to play Fallout 3. Whether it's next or not, I don't know. But I loved Fallout 3. I, yeah, I never finished them, but I played the old isometric Fallout games on PC. I wasn't very good at them. I didn't really understand them. I was too young at the time. But when Fallout 3 came out and I played that, I was like, blow, this is mind, this is mind blown. It's like Morrowind with guns. And I love Morrowind. That's what I thought. Fallout 3 was a fantastic game. Okay, without further ado, let's 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 get into it. We're we're we're, we're starting on the nostalgia trip, and I don't want to get started on it because I'll be here all day. <laughs> right. We are headed. On the long old road to Nipton. We actually have a few quests here, I think. We have to go there for the main quest. But also, keep your eyes on the prize. Recon the Nipton Town Hall for Ranger Ghost. We'll get both of those done. The Tale of Two Wastelands, it gives you Fallout 3 in the new Vegas engine, does it? Tale of Two Wastelands, I'm going to have to check that out. PC only, of course. You get the proper aiming. Oh. Did... Oh, because Fallout 3 didn't have aim down sights, did it? Oh, it didn't, that's right. Okay, which direction are we headed in? This way. East. That's right, I actually would quite like to play Fallout 3 in the new Vegas engine, I think that would be good. And since it's something new as well, I think we should do it. Definitely. I... 
Eddy, Eddy, Hostiles. I did hear that Fallout London was supposed to be being released this month, but I. Is that big one dead? Fallout London looks quite cool. Obviously, it's, it's a big mod, but I don't actually know when it's getting released or if it's going to get delayed. What a shot! Didn't even know I was there. Are oh, the ants? The ants have killed a rad scorpion. Brap. That's actually like SMGs. I actually really like the SMG. Yo, this is this is wild. More? Let's take the XP. It's only nine experience a shot, but we might as well get it. Say hello to my little friend. I'll let him kill that other one. Yeah, look at this rod scorpion. He looted. That's what Fallout 3 had vats for, because the aiming was bad. Yeah, makes sense. Actually, you know what's funny how the VAT system is like had like a lot of thought put into it, even though it was possibly a system made just to negate how bad the aiming actually was in Fallout 3. The next gen patches caused Fallout London to be delayed. Oh, has it? Because next, because Fallout London's for Fallout 4, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah, because the next punk. When is the next gen patch supposed to be hitting? It's supposed to be hitting the end of the month, isn't it? But it's. Oh, it's not really changing the PC version, is it? It's actually changing the... Shh. Enemies. It's only really changing the, the console version. Or um, have I got it wrong? Brag mines, lads. Should we play with the mines? Where are the enemies? Oh, headshot, bro, his head came off. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> right between the eyes. Oh, we've got, we've got back up. Okay. Where is he? Too late. There's more. Taking cover, taking cover. There's definitely enemies over there. That was pretty cool. <laughs> we did that first and the head came off. We just swung around the corner. Pa pow! What you get? Jackal Gang Leader. Metal Armor. Damage Resistance 12. Agility. We, we don't really care. That weighs too much. Guy was drugged out of his mind. Where's the leader? Carrots. Merc Grunt Outfit. It's not very good. All right. A whetstone. Okay, so I don't think there's any more gang leaders out here. There's just um, whatever's in the wastes. Look, rad scorpions. Let's avoid them. Rad scorpions are pretty tough. Pretty tough to deal with. These guys are having a have a shootout. Oh well. Come on. 
Bro, I was aiming at her and she just evaporated. No, 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 no. Hey! Did you see that? Jacqueline. That guy was gonna kill me. Oh shit, I actually thought you were a bandit. Are you alright? I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Was that the guy? Yeah. Talking about sunspet, sunset sarsaparilla. Some what? Never mind. I'm going to take a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Thank you again. Not going to lie, I don't know if I trust her with purple hair. Her hair's looking mighty sketch. Don't worry about me. I'm a little shaken up, but I'll be okay. Sucker! You like the What's going on? <laughs> what? Bro. Bro. Mate, we need to have a word. This, this. Oh, she was. Bro, she. She was trying to scam us and my mate saved the day. Sucks to be you, baby. I got backup, son. I, lads, at times I don't even know if this guy's killing, killing the good guys or the bad guys, and I, I don't care. It's, it's too funny. We'll take the jet. Cheers, my brother. Sometimes I feel a bit naive out here in these wastelands. Thomas. Let me read the journal. This could be interesting. Thomas' journal. The last entry of the journal reads, Things finally seem to have turned around. I made a nice bundle of caps turning in some scrap in the last town I passed. And now I have a new travelling companion. Her name is Jacqueline. And she's pretty cute. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, but things are looking up. And to think I was actually beginning to doubt the power of my lucky necklace. My brother. Lads, was I not correct when I said don't trust that one with purple hair? I should have listened to my own advice. The next gen patch is... Oh, oh sorry. I've already read that. Sorry, lads. <laughs> I thought that was a new message. Right, we're here. Nipton Iced Tea. Trading Post RV Park and Camping. All right. This looks like a trap. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> what sort of lotto did you win, partner? What lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god! Smell that air! <laughs> Are you one of them powder gangers? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang yeah. is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Time for me to go. Later. Yeah. You won the lotto, my friend. Latori Brother used to be a powder ganger. We got the we got the lotto ticket. <laughs> yeah. Times are hard out here. Oh shit, lots we just <laughs> That guy got absolutely wrecked. We've got a winning lottery ticket, where do we cash this in? Nipton. Trading post. Let's have a look. The guy looks like Graham Linham, Lin, Linham. I don't know who that is, punk. Graham Linham. How are you doing here, partner? 
Box cars. Are you fucking kidding me? First I get my legs smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Hey. Fuck. Hey. That ain't me, dog. What happened here? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Hmm. How you alive then? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Oh shit. Tell me about the lotto. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves. A nice score. Hmm. Where did it all go wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. <laughs> oh, shit. What happened next? What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Damn. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs, and the winner, they let go free. Graham Linham's word of the right as a Father Ted. I was never a fan of Father Ted, would you believe it? Yeah, I couldn't get away with it. So what happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Dang. What about the people who were enslaved? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. All right. I'll see what I can do. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Well, then I guessed. Okay, then. Why are you still here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? Hmm. I ain't got nothing for you. Bullshit. You're holding. You just want it all for yourself. I best be going now. Bye. Oh yeah. One more thing. You just won the lotto. My brother. Oh no! That was a quest called Booted. <laughs> oh shit, I thought that was a different quest. Quest Field Wheel of Fortune. Oh shit, lads. I mean... I mean... Bro, I thought this was just a random guy. Are you fucking kidding? Listen. Listen. Right. Let's get to this dialogue and then we'll... I'll spare some medics. I have... Two. One. Big fucking deal. Hand it over. All right. Later. Okay, we'll let this guy live. I mean, he's not going anywhere. He's got two broken legs. It, it, this guy didn't win the lottery, unfortunately. Okay, so what what is this quest booted that we actually got? Rescue the captives. Because surely we could have rescued the captives regardless of this guy being alive or dead. I don't think that quest should have failed for killing that guy. Maybe because he's the quest giver. That's why. All right. <laughs> It's your lucky day. In. <laughs>
en, en, iri, iri. Como una. Anything good. Some milky bath water. We don't have much. I thought there was going to be some loot up here. I thought he was going to have like a shady secret. All right. All right, partner. I best be going. Oh shit. The person appears to be near death. To remove them from the cross would kill them. Bad times. They're actually not hostile. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, hmm. especially any NCR troops you run across. Well, uh, what are these lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Why don't you go on and tell me what exactly happened here? Nipton was a wicked place debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. Damn. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Hmm. So you captured everyone? Yes. And herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. I mean, it does sound like they got what was coming to them. Yes, they did. As will all the rest of them, in due time. Now go, and teach them what you've learned here. There will be more lessons in the days ahead. Hey. Edie, gotta learn to play it smart. You will learn. Bro, we were gonna get destroyed by those guys. Let's just take it easy. Yeah, we got no beef with these guys. They were lying. Everybody's dead. Oh, shit. All right. I mean, who's to say this might have been a town filled with thieves, muggers, murderers, and debauchery. I'm not one to judge. It is what it is. There's something going on here. Oh, we can open this hard lock. Perfect.
smooth. Dogs. Dynamite. Oh, we're over encumbered. Shit, I don't even know what we're carrying. That's fine. You okay? Shit, we've, we've, we've run into a trap, haven't we? Turbo. I thought it was an actual turbo, like a turbo charger. It's, it's more drugs. Ram, pork and beans. Right, why are we so over encumbered? It didn't make sense. I don't think we carry anything. Leather armor. Perfect. Oh, that's where do we get all this stuff from? 10 millimeter pistols. Oh, the guys that we fought outside the city. Makes sense. 9 millimeter pistol. It's fine. Submachine guns, fine. Excellent. And we got that there. Uh, that service rifle, which we never tried yet. Stall hand granata! Oh shit, shit. Oh, we lit them up like a Christmas tree. Can't see shit, son. Did we actually get them all with one? Shit, I, I, I mean, we got a critical strike. It was on, it was on ED. But no, I mean, it is what it is. We tried. It's, shit, I think I blew myself up as well. <gasps> Dogs. Yeah, this has been ransacked. I doubt we're going to find anything interesting here. But you never know. Light it up. Edie. Bruh. Yo, lads, we are an absolute beast with grenades. Get wrecked. Hey, Akko, brother, how's it going? Nobody's got any good loot here. I suppose it's only the... Like a maze... What's it called? Town Hall. I suppose you're not going to have good loot in a town hall, are you? Nah. Ooh, dead prospect. I will take this. Absinthe. We'll take the leather armor because it's good to repair ours. Decent. We took some damage there. Up floor. Stains office. You ready? Breaching clear? Let's go. Very easy. There's, lads, there's got to be something in here. Why would you put a lock on it? One bobby pin. Rounds. Nothing. Sunset sarsaparilla, maybe. The mayor. Howdy, partner. Reset mainframe connection. Done. Prison break. Tony was kind enough to build this terminal and set it up for me. All for 30 caps worth of rows. 
The life of a mayor suits me just fine. I'm glad I didn't go any further east. I'm making plenty of caps right here off Rosie and Sylvia, who attract plenty of interest from the troops at the Mojave outpost. Okay, so they're running a prostitution ring. Guess you spent enough time standing around that backwater and you're ready to hop on something that looks like a mole rat. It doesn't smell much better. Damn. I guess we all been there. Okay, so the mayor was scum. I roll out promising development. If I do say so myself, it seems that things went to hell at the NCR correctional facility north of here. North of here. Right, that's fine. Three bobby pins is a good sketch. There's got to be some loot, some gossip behind here. Ten mil pistol. That's that's good loot. Brain microfusion cells. Plasma rifle. Only 18 damage. That That's going to sell for quite good cost. Continent's dilapidated and still um, it's still worth like, what was it? 40 gold or something. I don't think you get that from shops though. Right, this was a bit of a waste of a time. Right, come on, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything interesting. We're carrying around so many sunset sarsaparillas. We need to start drink. Actually, we could drink them now, couldn't we? Get a few health back. One more door. Ah, no, this is the ground floor here. Right, I think this is. Clear. Let's go. This is the exit, isn't it? It is. Hold on, is there anything behind here? We never checked. <gasps> Boy! It blew my motherfucking foot off, dog! It's fine. It's fine. We've got we've got aid. We've got aid. We need to be careful, lads. Doctor's bag, we've got it. Did that work? Status. We're fine, lads. We we just grew the leg back. What's it's 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 fine. Actually, lads, during the Fallout series, it's awesome how you see that guy grow his foot back. It's fantastic. It, it's really good. I, I appreciate it. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's not do that again. One key. Don't know what that's for. Well, we've already picked lock things, haven't we? Let's go. Hey, Fizz! How's it going, brother? Now... Well, I think we should turn this quest back in. Because we just... Quests. Return Ranger Ghost. Return to Ranger Ghost. We'll do that. Let's go. And we can almost fast travel back. Is this... Yeah, we can fast travel back there. Perfect. My bad. I was wiping my keyboard. <laughs> It's all right. Fizz, that's fine. I wondered, I was like, yeah, why T6? I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> that's fine. Wipe your keyboard at your leisure. I do not mind. All right, we'll go and turn this in. We should get some good experience for this. She might even send us on another quest. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Yeah. It, uh... Legion turned that sinkhole into a graveyard. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Did you have friends over there? In Nipton? Hell no. 
Town was a shithole, asking <laughs> to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, I mean... Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. Well, I mean, if you want the town burned, burns burned. Done. Right. I guess we're headed further inland. There's a Mojave drive in there. We'll go south from Nitten. See what this driving's got in store for us, and then we'll continue up the road. But I need to put this quest mark back on. It is. They went of that away. Look. Oh, I was wondering why there was people on the map. It's these people. They're all alive. Guess it sucks to be them. I'm going to investigate these buildings actually, see if there's any, any anybody alive. Watch out for landmines though. We keep getting our tits blown off. Not much. Right, where did we want to go? We want to go south, didn't we? something over here let's check it out caravan park i bet you there's raiders over here oh, fine. have i played much more forbidden west fizz i don't think i'm going to be playing forbidden west anymore i am um, i just I, did, I couldn't get in with i didn't enjoy it I, I found it incredibly boring um it probably would be i probably would enjoy the game if i was just playing it casually like stick an hour on it at a time but when i have to sit down and play it all day it's it's too it's too slow it's like incredibly slow i, I can't i just can't do it dog so i think we've uh oh we've got some lottery tickets here let's wait till oh there's enemies where <sighs> laser rifle Yeah, not feeling it. It was a... Uh, I think... Well, I mentioned before, one of the problems I had with it is it might be me remembering it incorrectly, but I'm not sure. In Horizon Zero Dawn, you just found one weapon of each type, and then you had it. You got given some of them, like, during the story. And then you just had, like... You could upgrade them, and... You just got different ammo types for them. I don't like how in the new one you get like weapons that are like fire, lightning, this, that, and the other, and they all start from like level one. You have to upgrade them. It's a um, it makes more of a grind to like try and get anywhere. If that makes sense, you felt that way about Alan Wake Two. Amazing game, but it's a bit slow. See, Fizz, I didn't like Alan Wake Two. I thought it was excruciatingly boring. Oh, what the hell is that? What is this? It's a robot. Yeah, I didn't like Alan Wake 2 at all. I, I, I hated the narrative. I hated the dialogue. I thought it was slow and boring. Whereas I quite enjoyed Alan Wake 1. Sorry, there was Alan Wake 2 I didn't like. I enjoyed Alan Wake 1 because it was quite action. I think they removed all of the action from Alan Wake 2. What is this? Oh, it's a satellite. You can't use this while you're crouched. Nothing happened since the midnight show at the Mojave Drive-In hasn't started yet. How do we wait? Tuesday, 3.29am. I'm actually going to wait there. Oh, is that too, too much? Go oh, five... I'm going to stand in one place for a day. I do it all the time. Eight, 
Oh shit, look at this. The crash satellite seems to be the source of a strange transmission you received. Old World Blues is re Oh, it's, it's another DLC. That's fine. You have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty, you will be able to take everything you can carry. Right, okay, at least we know where that is. Fine, let's 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 leave that. We don't want to do any DLCs, we just started the game. Alan Wake 1 has a lot more going on. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the combat in Alan Wake 1. Um, don't get me wrong, t probably about 75% of the game was really good. And then the last 25% of Alan Wake 1 was... There was too much combat with very little dialogue. They, they lost the balance towards the end game. But I enjoyed it. And I don't like the fact that you had to do the mind place. Oh, the mind place. Jesus, I'm having PTSD. I hated it. That was excruciating for me. Having to muck about with all those Polaroid pictures. Jesus wept. It really pained me. I think I actually got epilepsy in my bollocks from it. Right, we're heading in the right direction. We're going this way. I felt every time we got a bit action then you had to stop and pin bloody pictures to a board. Exactly. It absolutely killed the pacing of the game. I, I fizz. I feel the same. I feel the same. 100%. <laughs> Fucking mind palace, Polaroid pictures. Jesus wept. It's... I hated it. Edie, are you ready? I don't like being in a valley. I'm feeling mighty exposed right about now. Where? Two guys over here. A toaster. Lads, I really like toast. Oh, I can see someone. There's guys up there. Oh, is that Caesar's Legion? Are those the guys that left the, the town? Just be mindful of mines. Oh, mines. <laughs> Guy ran over his own mine like a cretin. Vipers. That's part of the road. I see you, baby. Oh, someone's got a funny little rifle. Bang, bang. Oh, okay, this guy's pretty far away. Jesus! That, that wasn't us. That was Edie. I forgot you could blow the cards up for a nuclear explosion. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we're scaling this mountain. <laughs> Damn, is he using tank on Fizz. Once we get this guy to his destination, we've... We've got to leave him at home. The guy is ridiculously good. This Edie. I can't climb up this mountain. Oh no, we're, we're there, we're there, we're there. Now, where's the body? There it is. Nice, he had a submachine gun, which is perfect. Bandana? We'll take it. First time we've seen one. Let's go SMG. The only issue is, like, these red dots appear quite far away. So I don't even know if we're... There's a friendly here. There's a friendly. Ramen.
Big corners, actually. Are these hostile? Oh shit, these things are actually hostile. Okay, let's walk away. Although I do want to find out who's friendly. Oh, it's the babies, lads. It's the adults that are hostile and the, the babies are friendly. That's fine. I thought it was going to be a person. Let's uh, continue on our journey. Actually, quite like the night times in this game. Normally, I don't like night times in games because it's too dark. They've they've got it perfectly with this. It makes like traveling any time of the day like enjoyable. Dragon's Dogma Two at night. <laughs> it's just black, black screen, <laughs> black screen while you're wearing sunglasses. That's how dark it was. Fine. Is that a bird? Something else. Are we? Jesus, lad, this is a long ass road to Novak. We'll stick to the road. Look, it's a uh, daylights. Daylights are coming. Right, there's possibly people here. There's nothing here. Why are we seeing loads of green icons on a minimap? I keep thinking it's people, but it turns out to be... Nothing. Well, that must be Novak. Do you think? Come on, we'll stick to the plan. Lads, that's always the best action. Always stick to the plan. It's so easy to deviate. Stick to the plan, baby. Oh no, it's not. That's a different settlement. There's a different settlement there. We should hit this settlement up, so at least we've got the fast travel. And then we can head to Novak. Interesting. Yeah, there's something big out here. Caesar's Legion. We are friendly with them. Raided Farmstead. Empty syringes. What is it? Oh, Raiders, look. Where's the Legion? Oh, shit, I've lost an arm. Lost an arm. Headshot! Damn! What the f... Jesus Christ, lads! We're getting eviscerated! Come get some! It's a good job we, we lost our non-shooting arm. Where are you? Shit, lads, this, this guy, I've, I've lost my chest. I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding inside my chest. Shot through the heart. Are we good? 
Level up, baby. Right, what were we going for? We were possibly going for level 75 in science. We might as well get it. And then... Medicine rep repairs good. <laughs> and you give love a bad name. Shot to the heart. And you're to blame, darling. You give love bad name. I think sneak. I do. I want to get... Our sneaking doesn't seem to do much at the moment. I would like to get this up to 100 so we can actually sneak. Happy days. Is this dog friendly? It's part of the Legion. We, we don't... Right, lads, we need to heal ourselves. We are we are bleeding inside of our chest. We've lost an arm and a leg. Let's do that now. But what we can do is we can rest to get our health back. So we only need to use a doctor's bag. Nice. Come on. We'll rest and then we'll loot. We'll go, let's make it daytime. Oh, there's no bed in here. There's no bed. This guy, this guy shot me. What? Oh, a cowboy repeater. That's why we got hit. Hit hard. Jesus Christ. Right away. We're, we're on the precipice of being overburdened. Doctor's bag. Nice. We are overburdened now. It's fine. Smouldering corpse. This was a cool little area. Getting ambushed. That, that's why the guy had a grenade rifle. He was softening the ground. Uh, I don't want it. As funny as it is, that's fine. Couldn't carry it even if we wanted to. Right, last one. Rebound. Right, come on, let's, let's sort our inventory out. So, apparel. Cowboy hat, we can't. We can upgrade that. Excellent. Reading glass, sunglasses. We'll put the reading glasses onto that. Weapons. We want the... 10mm pistol. Oh, we've got two full 10mm pistols. We need the submachine gun. Cowboy repeater. Didn't we just... Oh no, it was a service rifle. Cowboy repeater is a different gun. Damage 19 at half health. That's going to be powerful. I mean, we don't really need to be carrying 48 dynamites in our inventory. But I mean, it is what it is. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it adds up. Phase it does add up. We're nearly at this new town though. If we come across any enemies, we'll, uh, we'll heal up. Because we are less than half health in there. If anybody else has got a grenade launcher, we're, we're gonna feel the, we're gonna feel the wrath. Oh, it's the Legion. Let him do the work. Oh, it's the NCR. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh shit. I mean. Legion Denarius. We could get some good items here. Yeah. Hang on there, traveler. You'll want to hey. steer clear of this place. Hey. The whole town's radiated to high hell. Come searchlight. Well, if it's filled with radiation, why are you lot still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Yeah. Mighty noble of you. Any other survivors? None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. I can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? First off, what's in it for me? We don't get many supplies out here, but 
I can offer you some caps and maybe some old gear. All right. Thank you. Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. There's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Oh, ten. and take these radiation supplies. You'll need them. Not bad. I mean, the NCR seem okay. I do quite like the Legion. <laughs> what can I say? I was running about with a machete. Alright, watch this. We can probably max out this cowboy repeater. Well, nearly. If we increase our repair skill, we're going to get more repairs per... per items destroyed. Right, we're not going to go there yet. I don't really fancy dealing with radiation. However, I've just seen this encampment. It would be rude not to stick our head in here. Bed. We're not allowed in this bedroll, apparently. But I mean... What mama don't know won't hurt her. Oh, we can't even sleep in it. Service rifle. Yeah, we'll come back later. I'm not doing that now. We want to get to... What's it called? It's not Nipton. Novak. Come on. It's, it's daylight. We're fine. We're going to beeline there. It doesn't seem like there's going to be much in between us and the town. And at least we've got... Do we have this town as a fast... We do. We've already got that as a fast travel point. Perfect. Perfect. Enemies. Brother, what is that? It wasn't even hard. It was just a more Bro, I thought it was a bear. <laughs> it was a bear. Edie, Edie, Edie. Wipe that from your memory banks. I did not just run from a mole rat. <laughs> bro, it was... Bro, that thing was hench. Do you see the size of the traps on it? <laughs> that. I was like, nope. Bro, that's not me. That ain't me, dog. Mole rat. It's fine. It's just a rat. Somebody else fired a, a shot. Oh, what the hell is this? Old NCR soldiers. Wise choice. <laughs> Old trooper. NCR trooper armor. Probably good, but... Oh, look, there's one of them NCR dog tags we needed for the guy. So they can be anywhere in the wastes. It's alright. There's something over here. Yeah, there's a little... There's maybe a little outpost or something here. I can see it on the map. We need to get on top of this hill. Bro, the, the, the hill climbing in this game is, is something else. It would be wise if we saved it. I can, can you hear that? Something's beeping. Rock Flower Cave. All right. I don't know if we're going in here just yet. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Dogs. Edie? Edie? Light it up! Oh, I've just blew myself up, it's fine. Oh, 
Beautiful. Rum in the water. The bombs explode in water? Yes, they do. It's like fishing. Yeah. Wait there, did, did, is my leg okay? I'm fine. I've got half energy on me arm and leg. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a... It's just a graze. Should we investigate here? I mean, it could be interesting. Rock flower cave. <sighs> Don't know if we should be doing this. This seems like a lay of death and destruction. Edie, brother. Thought you were an enemy. Giant rat. Headshot! We missed every shot. HP issues. Radiation. YOLO baby. Shit, there's a lot of rats. Bro, these things do massive damage. Bro, I don't think I should be here. Radiation. Share a lot to my little friend. Cockroach bit my toes off. We've, we've got no legs. Why? Why am I here? Gotta be lads, gotta be loot. There's gotta be good loot here. Why else would this be so radiated? We need to use another doctor's bag. <laughs> right, when we get to the next town, we have to buy some more doctor's bags because we definitely need them when we're out and about. Oh, look, we need to be up there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Edie's back in action. How do we get up there? Oh, shit. One thing that's really junk about the, the weapon system in this game is you won't notice when you're watching it, but you do when you're playing it. If you start shooting while hip firing, and then you go to aim the gun, it stops the gun firing, and then starts firing again. It's so strange. Get wrecked. Yo, we need to buy more SMG ammo. We're going through it like... Like, I don't know, something that we go through really fast. Now... This must lead on to the... Wait. How do we get into the veranda? That's the way in. It must be this way. Hey, Brick Brother! How's it going? I'm so lost in this cave. Is this it? This is it. Gotta be. 
ada Here we go. What is this? Somebody's got a science lab here. Oh, that'll come in handy. Radiation suit. Perfect. <sighs> Couldn't have come at a better time. Right away. Excellent. We need them stim packs. Hydra will take that. Ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. We're on the verge of our weight limit, so we're going to have to be careful here. That's it. Can't even use the bed. Oh, damn. Bro, I've just found a weapon. 16 damage. It's got a scope on it. Okay, now, now, now we're talking. It uses 5.56 ammo. Nice. And we can upgrade it with the Varmint Rifle. What I think we should do is we'll hold on to this Varmint Rifle. Nah. Let's do it. Right, we've got a fully charged Rat Slayer. Interesting. I want that to be on there. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's got a proper scope. Lads, we are now the sniper. Sniper ghost warrior. A friend leaked my age, but other than that, I'm good. What about you? Oh, yeah, Brick. What, what do you mean by a friend leaked your, leaked your age? What do you mean? Like, online? Yeah, I don't think... Um, I don't think it's good. Like, even, even though it seems like trivial information, I, I don't like my, my information being, like, out there online, aside from, like, my first name. Because uh, I don't trust nobody. Oh lads, I'm happy we, we I'm happy we came in here. It was actually worth fighting all them rats. Now we've got to get out. Even though we've put on this radiation suit, we're still getting plus one rads. Don't know why. There's the exit, I think. Where's the exit? Oh, where's the exit? Here it is. 360 no score. Oh, damn. Fizz, you're right. Now we've got a 360 no scope. Oh, it actually does decent damage. Oh, it's got eight bullets in the, the mag as well. Oh, this, this is cool. Right, let, let's save it. That was, that was good. Let me check the... Um... i tell you what we'll do, lads. What was that? The, the Legion are, are fighting the mountains. We need to go and see what the Legion are fighting. It is the Legion, isn't it? What's the NCR? Look, there's two NCR soldiers chasing two Legion soldiers. <laughs> Call me the Vulture. Oh no, look, they're, they're all NCR. But I've got no idea what they're shooting at. Are you sh Are these deserters? It's strange. Banana Yuka. Oh, the Legion. Yeah, we... we we're not taking sides. Crack on. Come on. What I mean. Face wrap armor. <laughs> Look at these guys throwing spears. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you can have whatever's on that dead body. I don't need it. T take what you want. Goggles, helmet, bandolier armor, dog tag. Because what we can do is these service rifles we actually need. 
Now we've got a lovely service, fully serviced service rifle. Pierce wrap armor. 10 damage resistance. Oh, but now we're, I don't want to be a member of the, the, that's the problem with that. I want the hat and I want the leather armor and the sunglasses. I don't even know why we're overburdened. Lads, what did we pick up that was worth 10? It wasn't that. Face wrap. Face wrap. Cloth. No bigger than your hand. Weighs 26. What the hell? Oh, unless it's face wrap armor. Like it's actual armor. I thought it was just a face wrap. It's fine. It's not what we want. Okay, what we're going to do. We're going to get it top, on top of this hill and we're going to save the game. And then we're going to call it an episode. And then we're continuing on to... Dinosaur. Oh, lads, we're going to Jurassic Park. See you in the next one, lads. Right, let me save the game. Lads, next episode, Jurassic Park. However, the bad news is this is the end of today's stream. It's been an absolute blast, lads. It's been so much fun. Night Vision Fizz. This, this gun's got everything you could possibly want. It's got night vision. Everything. <laughs> yeah, that armor must have been made from lead. Jesus Christ, 26 weight. Ridiculous. It probably does have good damage resistance, but to be fair... You only need damage resistance if you plan on getting hit. We don't plan on getting hit. We plan on just eliminating everybody before they can get close. <laughs> Let's see how well that plays out for us. So, lads. Yeah, Fizz, take care. See you in a bit. Lads on stream, it's been an absolute blast as always. We started Fallout New Vegas. Game's fantastic. We'll make a lot more progress tomorrow. I think we, we're pretty well kitted out so far for, for being relatively early in the game. I think we've maybe played four or five hours. And... Yeah, it's, it's great. I'm having so much fun, as you can probably tell. But lads, look after yourselves. Have a great evening. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.